person to see how much fucking paint is on these canvases. Welcome to Overshadowed Podcast. I'm Zach. I'm Charles. And this week we're going to cover the most loving and supportive sibling relationship we've ever covered, the brotherhood of Theo Van Gogh and his older brother, Vincent, with whom he exchanged about 800 letters over 18 years. And throughout this episode, we'll explain how we wouldn't even know Vincent's existence, his art, the ear, any of it, without these letters. Vincent wasn't commercially successful. He only sold one painting in his life, which wore on him, especially because Theo was an art dealer whose job it was to sell paintings. And it wasn't like Theo didn't try. Vincent was technically pretty bad for a while, and we'll talk about that. Um, but basically, the reason that Vincent was able to pursue life as an artist at all was because of Theo's financial, emotional, and professional support. So we're going to get into all that, but first, let's introduce our guest, our first guest in a while. Do you want to go by Madi or Madi? No, I just thought about it. I was like, oh, I forgot. I go by a different name. Which, well, how, how do you want to introduce yourself to the overshadowed fan base? <laughs> Professionally, <laughs> Matis Yahoo Nisim. Nisim? Yeah. Nisim. Nisim? Yeah. What's your name? What's Litwack? That's my last name. What's the thing you just said? Nisim is my middle name. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're going Sans Litwack? I dropped the last name. Can you introduce yourself? Matis Yahoo? Yeah. Nisim. Very good. Yeah. Uh, very, very funny comedian. You're a very funny comedian. Yeah. Who you can recently call me Madi, though. I'll call you Madi. Yeah. Don't worry. I I'll was never you, intending on calling you yeah. whatever. You, I don't yeah. even know what you just but said. But everyone else has to call me that. Yeah. Anyone in the comments, please <laughs> look, yeah, we up how to, look up spelling for Madis Yahoo. Sorry, I fucked up your intro. No, you didn't. Can um, I say fuck? No. We do bleep those out. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Every. Do you bleep it? Every, every time I say curse. it, you we're going to bleep out every time you talk. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Whether you say fuck or not, All it's right. not getting in the episode. All right, continue. Um, but you recently read a whole. If I let me get this right, yeah. book, yeah, a whole book <laughs> about right. the letters, the whole thing, which relative to us makes you the foremost expert on yeah. Van Gogh, Vincent, uh, and otherwise. Yeah, f- a fun fact: I actually read it front front to back. Really? Oh wow! Yeah, not back um, to front. Yeah, but that's he, how you get a he UTI. also goes by Matis Yahoo Van Gogh now. <laughs> oh, does oh he? Yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well that's good. That's the first yeah. little undercovered overshadow yeah. tidbit. Um, yeah, that's a funny. So joke. you should put that in there. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's currently in there. <laughs> <laughs> we've been recording the whole time. <laughs> nice, dude. Put it in. Um, we'll send it to our editors. They decide right. what it gets put in. Yeah, I don't really have creative control over this. I've ceded that to uh, a shadowy group known as Goopal and C. Nice. Um, it's going really well so far. Thanks, man. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into the parents and the early life a little bit, but h- how do we all, how do we know, Vin- like, what was the first thing you knew about Vincent Van Gogh before reading that book? Oh, like, oh, what was my first encounter Im- with Vincent Van impression Gogh? Impression of him, and I don't mean that in a, as a Like, pun. what's the first time in my life I ever heard about Vincent Van Gogh? Yeah, just mm-hmm. what did you think about him? Like, I think of the e- the guy who cut off his ear and did Starry Night. Yeah, yeah, I heard about cutting off the ear. You know, I probably got dragged to a museum as a child and yeah. told about him. Uh-huh. You ever go to, uh, what's the, Immersive Van Gogh? No. It's pretty bullshit. I heard it's cool, though. It's it's okay. <laughs> it feels like very amusement ride, like every 20 to 30 minutes. It's like one of those movies at an amusement park where they just shuffle you in like cattle. Yeah. Uh, and like if you get there a little late, they don't like wait until you can go to the next one. They push you in. Yeah. And it's very expensive. Like how the, much? $40 for a 20-minute experience that you entered halfway through. You don't get to watch it again, and then they push you into a gift shop. Yeah, that's a lot. It is, that, is this is at a museum? It's the immersive van. G- it's like everywhere. It's in every major oh, city. Oh, it's like Shen Yun or whatever? Yes. Um, it's exactly like Shen Yun. It's yeah. the Western Shen Yun. <laughs> <laughs> it's Van Gogh before communism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's capitalist Van Gogh. <laughs> it's a utopian Van Gogh before he went crazy. Well, what do we know about his parents and uh, his early life? Are you right? asking me? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're the foremost expert. Sure, dude. Yeah, I did read a whole book. His, uh, dad, his dad was a Dutch his minister. His dad was like. Uh, was he Protestant? His dad was a Protestant. Oh, fuck, dude. He's freezing up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> no, his dad was a Protestant minister in Catholic country. I'm going to put on this shirt that okay. I brought. Okay. Oh, Catholic. Okay. Yeah. And so, like, nobody really liked him being around. And, because uh, he was a minister. You Because he about was, like, in a Catholic. They kept, like, stationing him in, like, Catholic. As a Protestant outpost? Yeah. So that's why it's like they're like in this town, but like nobody really likes them there because they're like the wrong type of Christianity. And they lived in the church house, right? Yeah. (laughs) And so like even though they were like sort of homeschooled. Yeah. They had like a governess. Yeah. Because like nobody liked them and they were just like all they had. I thought it was because the kids were coming home, Vincent and Theo, and they were like 
they were getting rude, picking like up order. street, picking street up street, street stuff. verbiage. Yeah, yeah, street words, and the and the parents the w- were like, "You guys are." We're taking you out of school. But it was also so it was also probably equal on the other end. All the rest of the population was like, Yeah, get them out of our school. It's yeah, a disgusting it Protestant. It was a push and a pull. Yeah. They yeah. were like a weird family, you know? Like yeah. some weird wrong religion family and running a tiny little church. W- I wonder how many people attended the church. How many other Protestants were in this town? You can find pictures of it on the internet. Maybe like in this moment in the podcast, you could sh- show a picture of it, you know? And uh, then you'll see it's there not it a, it's not a lot. You'll see that it's a very we'll have like on YouTube videos where they go relatively yeah. low square footage church <laughs> yeah. right here. So uh, yeah, it's not big, you know. Yeah, obvi- as you can see, the parsonage, the Zun- Zundert parsonage. Oh yeah, they were born in uh, Groot. Oh yeah, this mouse is not connected to this computer. They were born <laughs> in uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're born in Groot Zundert, which can't be the way you pronounce it. Did you know that Van Gogh is apparently pronounced Fachloch? Terrible. Yeah, didn't know. A terrible real pronunciation. Yeah. Van Gogh's so much better. If yeah. you watch, I watched a couple of YouTube videos, and it sounds like they I have a little bit of a tick. The people who try to say his last name, really? right? It's like, like they're Vincent struggling. Paul. I'm like, yeah. get that out of your throat before you yeah. talk. It's like it's okay. Keep going. You got yeah. it. <laughs> I spelled it F A H R H O H. A lot of H's. Okay, so the dad's a minister. Yeah, they live dad's in the church. His house. name's Theodorus. Relatively normal guy, right? Pretty nice. Yeah, pretty decent dad. Yeah, nice guy. Mom named Anna Cornelia. Carbentus, which I do like as a last name. Hmm. Uh, she worked as a bookbinder, and her father was William Carbentus, the bookbinder to the king of the Netherlands. Yeah, wow. she's like from somewhat of a prestigious family. And she married down. Well, so it's like in a time where being like a religious leader is like still somewhat prestigious, but it's not like a high paying position, you know? You know I kind of thought of it more as like a working class guy. But it's a little higher. He than is, that. but it's like respected. Okay, you know. So for her, it's like this isn't ideal, but she was like already getting like older for the time, you know. Like it was tw- like her younger like sister had gotten married. Okay. Oh shit. And then shit. she marries this dude, and she's like, "Oh, he's got a brother you can marry," and it's like he's a priest. And she's like, "Okay, I'm fine with that." Or like it's Protestant. She's like, "Look, I'm desperate. I'll take any religion." They might have all. I think they might have. I don't remember. It's okay. But <laughs> I think they a key I think the facet area, of this podcast is it doesn't need to be entirely yeah. accurate. So don't okay. don't 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 worry if you're like, oh, this is not a hundred percent. Okay. So if it's ninety five, I think where they came from wrong, that's okay. Protestantism was like big, but I think where they were <laughs> getting it. sent out to, it was not very big. Okay. Oh, so you, were they on a con- converting lifestyle? A mission, a missionary a mission yeah. trips? I don't. It wasn't was like the dad that. Going on the but road it's trying like, to flip people. It was like missionary vibes. You know, <laughs> yeah. You said vibes a lot today. Have I? <laughs> you have, but I think it's good. It's in the, on the podcast, in the car ride. I, li- now, let on it the be said, which camera's on me? The, <laughs> none of them are on you. Camera which three? one? <laughs> yeah, I've been saying vibes before everyone was saying vibes. Yeah, I'm so vibed up. I was on vibes pre vibes. Vibe Vance. <laughs> You know, he was on <laughs> what does Vivance do? Vivance is another form it's of like Adderall, Adderall thing. Yeah. Vibe oh, Vance. Yeah. Vibe Vance Vibe. is what I said. Vibe Vance. Yeah. Yeah. What was the one we said before we started? Oh, uh, uh, that you fucked Charles' mom. Nudes letter. Oh, nudes letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was good. A nudes yeah, letter. Every week you, give, you send a roundup to your friends yeah. and family of oh, your best nudes. <laughs> All your nudes, the nudes letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put that in. That's, I mean, <laughs> also put that in. <laughs> oh, this is all in. Yeah, put you it can, in. You should really <laughs> specify if you want something out. <laughs> no, no, because put it by all default, in. it's all in. <laughs> it's all in. Damn, we're doing so good. We're doing great, dude. Um, I was honestly worried because I, I was really? about to cry earlier. Really? You, you were hurting my feelings. Was I? I'm sorry. And I was, I was ashamed a, that it was affecting me emotionally. I was just—I <laughs> was upset. I was just in a really bad mood, and I was trying to make well, you, you feel you as bad as me. Successfully, fully transferred it to me. <laughs> really? Elastic collision. Oh, All I'm of sorry. the negative energy went I'm to me sorry. like a pool ball. I'm sorry. No, I'm I'd glad say you I feel didn't better. mean to, but I think I did. No, I feel like you knew exactly <laughs> what you were doing. Well, I'm glad no. you guys have reconciled. But I am sorry, Charles. Please stay out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I tried my best. So their grandfather was an you art dealer. You kind of were like Vincent Van Gogh in this. Since you got here. Yeah, dude. You were mean, and then when it comes down to What's heard? You're nice. Yeah, method. Yeah, when the when the when the cameras and the lights turn on, yeah, you're just I'm a, a selfless nice guy. monk. <laughs> <laughs> but in the shadows, you're fucking prostitutes and uh, stealing my money and oh gas. Oh god! It took yeah, so dude. long to get to your apartment. Yeah, I was because I siphoned so much of your gas. <laughs> 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 I don't even have a car. I was just spinning it out on the <laughs> on street. The street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. You're not driving me to Astoria. <laughs> <laughs> um. Back to the Van Goghs. Good the f- riff. The Fachlaus. 
The uh, I'm making it more German. Have you guys had a guest before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. How many times do you think you've had a guest? <sighs> well, Nick and Nathan. Um, At the same ha- time? Yeah. yeah. We talked oh. about Nathan's relationship. Oh, that's smart. That, that's been the most viewed episode on YouTube. Really? Yeah, it has like 3,000 views. People love real life. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And Nathan had a weird childhood. <laughs> he had a lot of weird stories. Uh, we had Maggie Lally. Nice. Um, I think he might be our third, because mm-hmm. I'm going to count Nick and Nathan as one. Yeah, you're our third guest. Wow. And you're probably our most informed. I mean, but we'll see if yeah. that holds up. Wouldn't it be funny if at the end I revealed I did not read the book? <laughs> that would be good because you've been giving me a lot of guff. Yeah. <laughs> Marty opened the outline in the car. He's like, a lot of this is wrong. It's true. <laughs> and I spent so long trying to collate uh, all these yeah. facts. I felt like Joanna Bonger herself. I was already in a bad mood, and then I was like, oh, God man. God damn it. What's up? What's up? Yeah. I got to correct this guy? Yeah. Anyway, so the, the Van Goghs were a family of art dealers. Theo was an art dealer. The grandpa was it what Vincent, right? Basically, everybody in the Van Gogh family either went into art or religion. Uh-huh. That was like their thing for like generations. They're either like preachers or like something to do with art. Did were they linked at all? Did they ever like paint stuff for the church, stained glass windows? That kind they of were thing? into religious art also. Yeah, but it's like at a time where there was a lot of religious art. That was like a big thing. You mm-hmm. know, what is that called? Uh, icons or something. False, I don't know. False I'm idols. Jewish. Idolatry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't know nothing yeah, about we that. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't Worshipping false idols. Yeah. You guys don't worship the mezuzah outside no, the door? No, we don't, like, paint big figures as much. It's, like, frowned upon. Oh, really? Yeah. What do Jewish people paint? You don't, you're not going to grow, grow up seeing a lot of paintings of, like, Moses and Judaism. We're not, like, into that. Is that one Disney movie? That was, which one? Prince of Egypt? Yeah. Yeah. They painted him a few times. Yeah. I saw that as a kid. It was good. Yeah, it was cool. It's the, but like Christianity got really into it in the year six thousand sixty sixteen. Oh right, you know, Jewish. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all yeah. All those you have times. a whole other timeline. Yeah, you're like fucking. Um, no, I was just mispronouncing sixteen hundreds. I wasn't trying to. Oh, s- you weren't trying to yeah. give me the alternate no, Jewish but time. That'd be pretty funny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That back in the, if I, that's the biggest issue I keep having. I keep <laughs> you're like all these years are wrong on the cosmic <laughs> scale. I'm like, yeah, that was actually the year fifty four seventy eight. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of these timelines are. Okay, so they came from a family of uh, religious people, art dealers. Um, Vincent went to boarding school when he was a kid at, in, in Zevenbergen. He was very unhappy, felt abandoned. I think he had abandonment issues. Or, I mean, he had a lot of issues. But when I read about Vincent going to this boarding school and feeling like he was abandoned, it really reminded me of the kid that I babysit because every time I'm out of his sight, he thinks I left. He thinks really? I just left. Yeah. We were at a playground. I went to the bathroom. I wasn't in there more than 10 seconds, and I heard him go, Zach, Zach, Z- I thought you left. How and I'm old like, is he? He's eight. Oh, and man. I'm like, N- no, I, c- I would never leave you. Then I don't get paid. <laughs> I have to bring you back. <laughs> There's no way I can just leave you. It's so weird. Even if I go to the bathroom in his apartment, he starts he's shouting like, as if I just walked out the... Like, that's how shitty he thinks he is. Oh, he's well, that's driving people away. But isn't he a bad kid? Well, yeah, I don't want to... Leave it out. Say that explicitly. Can you put that in? <laughs> what? The bad stuff. Isn't he a bad kid? <laughs> yeah, um, he's tough. I mean, he doesn't say the N-word as much as his brother. So <laughs> my theory is, like, just based on everything that I've read in scholarly works. Yeah, of um, course. As uh, the momentary expert, um, when they are kids, when they're all little kids, the family was really like, family's the most important Nobody else is going to be there for you. We all got to stick together. We're in this little tiny, like, parsonage. And, like, this is the safe place. Everything's wonderful and amazing here. We have a garden and we read books and everything's amazing. And so it's like. Sounds like like a cult. Yeah. They don't let you see the outside. No, it's classic, like, homeschool dynamic. Mm -hmm. And so it's like. You're like, everything in here is safe. Everything out there is dangerous and scary. And so it's like, as soon as. Vincent leaves, he's like freaking out. He's like, everything, I miss home. I miss all of this. Everything's ah. terrible. And like that school he was at was close enough that he could like take the train back and stuff. Oh, oh he was so a commuter he co- kid? No, it's like he's living there, but it like wasn't that hard for him to yeah. like come back. Yeah. And so they're like having issues with he him. He never like, had to really deal with being out there. He yeah. could always come back. They're like having issues with him, like not. You know, he's like leaving and stuff. And, and you think this is why he's acting out all the time? Yeah, there's a picture. Did you see the picture of him at the school? He no. looks miserable. There's where, a where photograph? can we put it? Yeah. Where yeah, point, point to wherever you want, and I'll put it there. Marty, you <laughs> dog. <laughs> the audio listeners are missing out. 
Yeah. Uh, he pointed right to his dick and balls. Oh, no. I was <laughs> pointing <laughs> at my glass of water over here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, Try to keep this PG. Yeah, no, but there's a picture, and he just, he, it's him and his classmates, and he's just got his legs crossed. He looks so, like, guarded. It's, like, classic, like, artsy, introvert, angry, mm-hmm. like, legs crossed, everything crossed. He was just looks an, so Was this an actual angry. photograph? Yeah. Wow. Well, let's let's jump to Vincent's weird replacement child thing because I think that right. really informs a lot of how like yeah. fucked up he was. Do you want to say it? Sure. Go ahead. So part of being in the parsonage is they're like, you gotta have have a lot of kids. You know, you gotta keep this religion going. I thought that was part of being born in the eighteen for sure. Whatever is, yeah. is that you have to have a lot of kids. But they're also like, you gotta fill. You gotta survive. have a family. You gotta fill this. You gotta thing fill the with, pews. You know what I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like. Every church is a bringer show. Name bring your own children. And their first kid's name was Vincent Van Gogh. And then he died. And I believe he was born exactly one year before the Vincent we know. Did so you they had the same it? birthday. What planning yeah. on I their mean, part? Th- yeah, that's They're very like, we're going to try this again. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it once. <laughs> and yeah. so it takes. Vincent was like the prestigious name. That's why I was going to go to the firstborn son. It was like the Vincents were always oh, successful in the Van okay. Gogh family. It was like a good name. Yeah. And so that's why later on, like his uncle, the uncle also named Vincent, was, like, so disappointed that his namesake is, like, a fuck-up. Died at one. They're oh. like, damn. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah. Dude, he died. <laughs> you killed my namesake? No, so it's like he's born constantly under the shadow of the first Vincent, well, Van Gogh. Ap- apparently the mom used to take him out back to look at the grave. Well, yeah, That's because crazy. they lived on the church property. They buried the kid in the backyard. I heard Be- they made him sleep in the grave. With <laughs> in the grave. That's what I heard. He, I had, to, he had to dig his own grave <laughs> yeah. every night and fill it every morning. Yeah, I heard he had to. Yeah, go sleep with your brother. He's cold. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I heard sometimes they would dig up the grave and they would put him in Vincent's, in Vincent's bed. Yeah, yeah. And they would make Vincent no, take sleep. this out. Put the dead baby in the crib. Good night, uh, Vincent. T- take that out. No, that was funny. <laughs> take that out. We're not taking it out. All right. <laughs> but I uh, think it's funnier that you want us to take it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave the part in of me asking to take it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm actually gonna cut that part. Oh out. God! <laughs> so no one will ever Damn. know the truth. Um, it is fucked up though. The mom would parade him out and be like, "Look right? at your brother. He's perfect because he's a dead baby and he can do no wrong." Right. He's so up. it's some evidence. Like his 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 parents are not quite all. They're not quite well. You no. Know? Like this is not a healthy environment to grow up in. It's yeah. like a lot of the mental illness that plays a role in the Van Gogh siblings. It, there's. It wasn't there like. Five of them, Vincent, there's Theo, and three sisters. Yeah, there's w- Will is oh, a so sister. No, Will is a sister. Okay, William a sister. It's like Will Willem or something. They're all Dutch names, you know. Yeah. Nobody knows how to say them. I thought this was. I looked up the types of replacement children. There's three types. There's the quote. Oh, that's a real concept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's in okay. psychology. Haunted is the first type. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> brutal. It's uh it's when you you live in you live in the family overwhelmed by like survivor's guilt and it's like kind of a specter that looms over the family but nobody really talks about it. So survivor's like, guilt meaning Vincent like the same way that Vincent could be born or in a different scenario. No, the fa- this is not Vincent's. This is the first This is one. the first type. This is not the yeah. type that Vincent was. Yeah, but what is the survivor's guilt then? Like uh, just the child's like, oh, why did I get to live when this other kid died? God, and like, then no, and yeah. it's ki- and it's just the unspoken, you know, dead baby in the room, <laughs> the eight hundred pound dead baby in the corner <laughs> that everyone's kind of uh, nervous and resentful of. The second type is the bound replacement child who is incomparably precious and overprotected. So they're like, we really got to do a good job with this one. We lost the first one. Okay. We got a baby this one, helicopter this one. And the third type is what Vincent was, which is the, quote, resurrected, which is basically like a redo kid. Yeah. Who is treated as a reincarnation of the dead sibling. Jeez. Van Gogh. It's kind of like how you n- number paintings. They're like, right. you're Vincent, too. But also, like, maybe he was. They had the same birthday. You ever thought about that? I mean, they that did a really good job. Yeah. If they, if I mean, as far as resurrections go, they really hit, you know, they did I, a good yeah, job. Yeah, if you're I, religious and you have a baby on the exact same day as the other baby, it... Uh, yeah, mean, you're probably, I mean... Yeah. Probably Keep going. <laughs> that's the <laughs> same kid. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably I mean, stoked. You think they high fived? Yeah, you're like, water broke. Yeah, they're like, we brought him back. <laughs> yeah, they're like, I can't believe <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> it's him. They hit the same number on roulette twice in a row. Yeah, yeah. that is That's, insane. That is. Oh yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, we should double check that though. <laughs> Dig up the grave. <laughs> the the birthday thing, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. We'll I'm ask. Pretty sure it's true. Best case, you're wrong, and someone will comment on it, and that'll yeah. push us to the top. Oh shit, true. Yeah, dude. So oh, don't fuck. even wor- don't even worry about that. All right. Don't even worry about that. I'm not worried. You seem a little worried. I'm so worried. Um, 
Oh, when I was a kid, my my friend that this happened. Except instead of a guy, an artist named Vincent, it was a dog. To they you? had a no. To my friend growing up, they had a beagle named Laser, and one day they backed over it with their Aww. car. It was like a puppy, and they went out. I don't even think they told the kids, and they. I don't know how I know this. Then they must have told the kids, because I know it. But they went out and bought another beagle and named it Laser Two. The sequel. That may have been the f- <laughs> yeah. Lasered again. <laughs> Why didn't you call it Double Laser? Laser was two. that on the call? That might have been the unofficial name. Okay, maybe parentheses too. Yeah. Parentheses too. Maybe yeah, probably hyphen. Roman numeral. Laser Johnson, like two. like an emperor. It'd be funny if they instead adopted a kid, and they named like, it that's, laser. The, that's the dog. And they make yeah. it act like a dog. The dog's alive now. He's laser, a, he's a eat boy. your food, and they feed him in a bowl on the floor. <laughs> yeah, uh, LJ. Yeah. No scraps from the table. Yeah, because how stoked would you be if you had a dog, and then one day you came home and your dog was like a real boy? <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Yeah, you yeah. can do way more stuff yeah. than a dog. That can. you get to hang out. You can fetch like, oh, and read shit. and write. Yeah, <laughs> my uh, do laundry for you. My brother had a crazy ex who I think faked a pregnancy scare, but it was around the same time that uh, we had a cat that passed away. It's like a couple of years ago, and she used to storm into my brother's house, like you know, like this is, is all fake. But she goes, I know it's the cat reincarnated. This is your cat. And she would try to claim that her baby was our kitty. Was she serious? Oh, well, yeah. But she was crazy. That the baby human was the cat was the cat. I mean, that's a step up for a cat, right? Yeah, right? To be yeah. a baby? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Did the baby very... show any type of feline proclivity? It never came out. It's kind of like a cat. It never, yeah. never showed itself. <laughs> Sh- shit in a box? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you think that cat did to deserve being reborn as a baby? I mean, that's a real step up. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was a pretty cool cat. So, God was probably like, you're pretty chill. This is unrelated to everything. That's okay. Except that a little bit. Do you think <laughs> that if you, you could raise a child to, like, use all their limbs like another one of the primates and that it would be what? efficient? Oh, like like forearms? Yeah. And, it's, and a tail Yeah, that yeah like a zookeeper could? Because isn't walking like a learned behavior, you what? know? Upright walking? Yeah. Instead of knuckle dragon? Yeah, because kids, like, you know, walk around, uh, like, crawl around and stuff. So it's Yeah, like but, I mean, we were, I mean, you have to go back to the early origins of, because then who... You you do have to go back to the early cause origins. Because then, eventually, without knowing, you stood up. Right. Are we just too far gone into standing? Because they say we have all this <laughs> back pain, you know, because we're standing and sitting around. Who, really? Yeah. They Is that s- in the they book? S- people are saying all this. <laughs> Smarty yeah, dude, it's in the Van Gogh book. And, uh... <laughs> I want to see you uh, crawl in the crawl. Yeah. Okay. Dude, <laughs> you're and, walking and like and the there rest are people of us. that do that. Exactly. There are people on TikTok that are like I day those 97 were like of on my Appalachian yeah. people. No, no it's like good for your back. Yeah, there's guys that uh, <laughs> they're like rock climber guys. <laughs> exactly. They do. They do. Oh, they get exactly. You, really get you ever see them? They do like day one. They do like 100 days of yeah. on their uh, hands and forearms. Yeah. And then the on like day f- they show progress of their forearms just getting huge. Yeah, and they're getting fast, dude. They can gallop. <laughs> yeah. And they so can really take over a city. So here, sounds like all a right. Movie. So here's my next question. Yeah, are you are you, you gonna if you I'm raised, glad you came with a series of questions. <laughs> are you trying to rope us into doing this? <laughs> no, so if a human were to grow up uh crawling, you know, on all fours like this, do you think their top speed <laughs> would faster, be faster than like a like uh like a r- uh, Olympic runner. I think so. No. You think it, so? I do. Is a chimp faster than U- Usain Bolt? It, I think I'll say this. In my dreams, when I'm going as fast as I can, I am on all fours and kind of galloping. You've had what? dreams where you're galloping on oh, all yeah. fours? See, it's, this is why it's important to ask these questions. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah, I guess I've been yeah. neglecting your dreams this you whole have. I try past to tell year. You. Yeah, I have dreams where I go back to the, uh, the beginning, Are you wearing that the beginning shirt of it dreams? all. Really? Am I wearing this shirt? That looks like a shirt you would have no undershirt in. You're galloping on all <laughs> fours. That it does look like a good galloping shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah kind of foam no, uh, no undershirt, you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it no would undershirt. flutter. Yeah, galloping. Because yeah. it would flutter in the wind. Um, no, but I do have dreams where I can, like, jump really, really high. And often uh, when I push off, it's because I've been on all f- quad- quadrupedal or whatever. Interesting. On all fours. And then I launch. That seems like some kind of interpretation dream. Yeah, you of know? your goal for that humanity you would interpret that dream and it would mean something oh uh, what do you think that means what it, i think it means yeah. i think it means you long for the simplicity of an of, animal's life of being an animal yeah but you strive for the intellectual heights of transcendence you know 
That's a very generous interpretation. Yeah, you're torn between I your think it's primal I like instincts. High. No, no, no. See what happens is you're torn. <laughs> you're under intellectual. Yeah, you're under between, intellectualizing. Yeah, this dream. is gonna sixty dollars an hour, by the way. And <laughs> so you're That's torn between your primal root. What is your star in? What your is my what? Sun? Uh, your sun. What's rising? your moon sign doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your moon sign doing? Yeah. What, where are your moons hanging out right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're pretty close at the yeah, moment. Yeah, dude, my moons. I think my moons are Dave and Buster's. Like going at it, dude. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, my, my moons hate each other. Yeah, yeah, that really happens, talk. dude. So not, moons go through it. Yeah, yeah. Well, if we want to jump back, into my the moons field. are over my hammy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry. You knew what happened when you asked me to do this. You knew yeah, you're gonna, gonna riff. Happen. I did. I did. No, I yeah. want you to riff, Marty. Yeah, I'm gonna do my. I would best rather you over <laughs> riffing. Not talk about the open. than under riffing. Well, we have a lot of info to get right, through, right. so that's Honestly, really right, just gonna go. <laughs> that's gonna be more painful all for right, you. Let's go. <laughs> um, their first job, they were art dealers. His first job, Vincent's older. Vincent and Theo. Yeah, but Vincent goes first. Yeah, he's four years older. Yeah, he goes. He goes to. He, Google. They're like, hey, you're having a hard time in school. Maybe. Your, you your successful uncle, he's going to hook you up. It's like they're like in a successful family, but he's the religious, you know, the dad's the religious branch of the family. Mm -hmm. They're like, we got some connections. They're kind of like the middle class people. Mm -hmm. That's like your uncle's pretty rich. Why don't we'll you go do you a art. job? Keep going. We'll get you an internship over, uh, you know, and they go working at the art gallery. Uh -huh. And this is Uncle Vincent. Yeah, but they called him Scent. Yeah. Okay. And C E. This guy's probably a little <laughs> reluctant to take him in. I thought they called him Fitty. He's like, but also like they're like Vincent does know a lot about art. Mm -hmm. He is good at art. They're like this could be really good for him because that's the thing. It's a very artistic family. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, just have him work there. And so it's like, he Get like rich can't. Trying. He like can't work with customers because he's like so difficult. He's just like kind of an. But doesn't asshole. he know Vincent a lot about art? He knows so much. So he's kind of like the professor who's like too smart for his own good and can't teach. Yeah, I think he's like, like can't do the practical application of the thing that he knows a lot about. You know, he what I mean? is he kind of. Yeah, he's like good at drawing initially. You know, he's like his whole like the whole Vincent's, fam the whole family is like into drawing and Vincent shit. Vincent blows at drawing at first. No, he's like decent at drawing. He's bad at drawing. He's decent at drawing. That's just my subjective he, opinion. He, no, it's like it's, I'm with his mom. No, I think no, his he, art's awful. No, so the mom likes his line drawings. Really? Yeah. And he's like pretty good at these line drawings for yeah. a while. Okay. And it's this is when he's considering because when he first started drawing, he considered drawing to be better than color. Yeah. He's, he's like the foundation has to be lines. Yeah. He's really stubborn. Whatever people were telling him to do, he was like the other things better or mm -hmm. more artistic. So he doesn't really make it at. Uh, yeah. They uh, move. The, by the way, the, the place is room. called Goopal and C really they move. There's a back room. Yeah. They're like just deal with shit in the back, but he's still too difficult to deal with, and <laughs> like so. They're like, we can't even, like, even though this, your, like, uncle is vouching for you, like, this dude's, like, he just can't deal with this yeah. dude. But Theo goes, because he wants to be with his bro. Yeah, but first they move Vincent to, like, London or something. They move him to, like, another branch. Oh, that's not and good. That's a bad thing. he's, sign. like, not doing well in London. And he's that's making when, cold calls. That's when he goes off on, like, a... you guys want any pictures? Yeah, he goes off on, like, a religious journey. He becomes, like, obsessed. And so, meanwhile, Theo immediately takes his place in, like, the flagship store. In Brussels. And he's crushing it. Yeah. And that's the first time it, like, fucks with Vincent. Because he's like, damn, like... My younger brother is a boss. Yeah, he's crushing it. Yeah. Because he's so charming, so good at dealing with people, like has all the skills of the uncle who's successful. Right. Because the uncle's so, so like, successful. So Your name should be Vincent, Theo. <laughs> yeah, the uncle does resent Vincent because he has the same name as him. and he's That's such a weird pressure to put on a kid. Like, yeah. you know nothing about him. He's zero years old. And he's like, yeah, you're going to be the guy. Yeah, but back then they were like, you're supposed to do whatever your name is. They should have transferred the name like a title. Yeah. Once Theo, rea once they realized Theo was going to be a better art dealer. Yeah. They should have rechristened him Vincent and then made new Theo go sleep in the grave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. <laughs> Take a little dirt nap. <laughs> but Theo was the youngest, right? He was the youngest employee. Oh. At the uh, Goopal. S Goopal and C. I don't know, man. I haven't. I haven't worked there for a while. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember all yeah. the ages. It just made. I don't know. I wonder if there was like a hazing thing or something at like you know because you like fuck with the youngest person. Yeah. Or something. If they gave him a painting, but it was like instead of brown, they just use shit. And yeah. He's like, These all smell really bad. Yeah. They're it's like, like it's called uh, art, and they're like, who get used to? Yeah. It. This is high art. You yeah. gotta really examine it. Make sure it's not a fake. <laughs> they keep giving him. They're piss like, and, and shit. you gotta they gotta smell, smell it. If yeah. It's fake or not? Yeah. You'll know when you smell it. If you taste it, you can really <laughs> tell really? whether yeah, it's really fake. Or yeah. Genuine. There's a lot of phony brown paint going around right now. <laughs> 
and they with seeds and stuff in you it. You have to hold it up. Also, to the taste light. this mercury. See yeah. if it's fake. <laughs> Uh, so Vincent, bad art dealer, Theo rising in the ranks, and then Theo becomes like a very well-known, reputable art dealer who popularized like some of the huge artists that we know today, like Monet. Yeah, he was early on Degas, Monet, big on Monet, early on he Monet. He's an angel yeah. investor. Yeah, nobody thought Monet was shit, and he's like, "This kid's gonna be somebody." This guy's got yeah. the new brown paint in town. Theo, right. had, Theo had tremendous taste in art, yeah. and so did Vincent. They both were so good at art, and a lot of their communication was just about like art, you know. Yeah, it was cool to see how Vincent was always, I mean, uh, sending his sketches and letters. I did like that a lot. If you go look up the letters, you see that there's little depictions of the paintings he was working on, which is like the earliest email attachment. Yeah. Because you couldn't, you, you know, he couldn't like he send him the painting because that is the painting. So he, right. can't, he has to sketch it in the margins and then describe the colors to him. I went to, uh, so. they had a big Van Gogh exhibit at the Met. Yeah. It might still be there. Nobody knows. There's no way to know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I went and uh, on opening day and the cat's doing some pretty good stuff. <laughs> I'm scared she's going to knock over the laptop. She's never been there before. All it, right. it would be a pretty good clip though, right? down. if she like jumped on the camera. Yeah, that would be fun. Right. That would be good. Right. Yeah. In the middle of your, your explanation. So, uh, anyway, the paintings are cool, but uh, one of the coolest things you could see there was like there's a sequence of like one of his letters to his friend being like, "This is the thing I'm about to paint," and there's a little sketch of it, uh -huh. and then the painting. That is, oh, cool. and then wow. a follow up letter being like, "Here's a sketch of the painting. I did the painting." Wow, that's yeah, cool. And, and it was like that's how you communicated that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was my favorite part of the letter. Yeah, he, yeah. And he would like write around the painting and stuff. Yeah, it was very cool. Yeah. And then he wrote a letter where he's like, "It'd be funny if there was a newsletter." Of nudes. <laughs> yeah. And we called it a nudes letter. He was like, this is a recent <laughs> yeah. painting of my dick I've been working <laughs> yeah, on. I'm yeah. going to send it to a prostitute I fancy. Yeah. Do you think this is going <laughs> to charm her? So. Oh, wait, I had something with the. Uh, oh, he would also describe the colors, the bedroom. Uh, I guess I don't have anything. I think it was fun to describe the colors. I wonder if he, I mean, <laughs> he just put like R around different parts of the painting. It was like, imagine red. Red. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. B. R, 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 B. Yeah. 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 B. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the grass. Oh, yeah. Sky it's like is those, all B. Those uh, paint by numbers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a legend. Yeah. And Theo has to those are fun. Them. They are fun. Yeah, paint by numbers. I should have brought some. Everyone says day. paint by numbers like it's a bad thing. No, it's one of the best things you can yeah, do. Yeah, paint by numbers <laughs> in life. Yeah, I don't know if I've painting. ever. Oh yeah, you like a little sip. Which Vin sip Vincent and paint? probably did a lot of wine painting. Little yeah, Vincent was probably the first sip and paint guy. Yeah, except it was more like chug. Yeah, and uh, go nuts <laughs> and piss off your roommates. There's a place back in uh, back home and uh, where I grew up. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there's a on the farm. Yeah, there's in, a in Grutenberg Zoo. They have or like a paint and wine thing, right? But instead of painting it's like you develop film oh wow and, and it, you right, get drunk well, but it's cool. called like you sip get drunk in a dark room and develop oh it's god just like, that's you know that's, and i always pass dumb. it being like i bet that is fun but a difficult concept to package mm -hmm. you know like what do you call it and then you call it a it's, drink and it's like a hard request yeah. to be like you want to go on a date let's go develop some film <laughs> Yeah. You know what okay, film? Dip it in. Now yeah, it's that film that you bring. He's like, I already have some photographs in mind. <laughs> yeah, and we can try. We'd They're of <laughs> you that you don't know yeah. I've taken. <laughs> oh my god, I'd dude. like you to see how they turn out. That would be like a horror movie. That, that's if, a great horror movie. If it was like a room, first date, yeah. and they're developing, and it's cutesy, and then the photos are all like. At first, her? it's photos they took that day, yeah. and then it's like it's going back in time, like yeah. before the date. Yeah, before and then when yeah. she's when she's getting ready for the yeah. date. Yeah, when she's younger. And this is, a, this is an episode of you before she was born, but yeah. he's the same age before she was born because he's her a, ultrasound. He's, he's a, a vampire. Yeah, like in Jeepers Creepers. Yeah. yeah, and then he's Dracula. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so cool. That'd be pretty good. Don't Keep that in. Yeah, yeah, leave this out. We gotta write leave, this. Put leave that this in. Out. Stop everything now, and we'll write the script for the movie. It's called, this is the name of the movie, Dracula pretends to that he's on a date and they're developing the film, but it's, uh, oh, fuck. You could have stopped. I would say developing Dracula. <laughs> you could have stopped yeah, way earlier. Shit, that's good. <laughs> you could have stopped yeah. way earlier. <laughs> yeah. What about, what about went for this it. movie sucks blood? <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's not bad. Two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a good spoof. Yeah, uh, leave that in. That's a good so, spoof. It's always movie. funny to start with a two. This two. movie two. sucks blood too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One was lost to the yeah. ages. Yeah. That would be good. All the originals were destroyed. Let's talk about uh 
So you think Vin- you think Vincent was a good artist initially? It's so complicated. He <laughs> no, <laughs> we he's pretty bad. Now. He's pretty bad for a he's while. He's bad. But like, well, he it, starts late. Yeah, twenty seven. That is late. That but he, feels late. If he had just stuck to like line drawings and uh-huh. stuff, like if he had stuck to one thing, he could have been like very good much faster. He's like kind of bouncing around bouncing. and trying a lot of different stuff and just like art is very hard. Yeah, art is. I, I did this thing with Mo- Molly bought like a book of like date ideas or whatever, and then you scratch them off and whatever. So the idea yesterday was you draw a three to six cartoon panel of like the story of your relationship, oh. which is cute. Yeah. But then it was like, this was the crazy part. It was said, uh, you know, write the captions or whatever, like you wouldn't cartoon. But here's a twist. <laughs> Translate the captions into Chinese. What? This is what it said. Wow. Who? And then it said, "Go to use Google Translate if you need." And it's like, wh- who the fuck do you think we are? Why would you translate? I have it? no idea. It was just like an extra stupid thing. Why is that better? It what if you don't speak Chinese? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. And then the authors I think are it's just like two white dudes. Oh, really? You looked up the authors. The authors are in the front of the book, just being two white guys, being like, "Hope your relationship's going good. <laughs> Chinese will help." Try Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried? We Chinese? know why you're here. Something's not working. Have I you can't tried get hard. Chinese? Have you tried Chinese? <laughs> what if you were doing the comic, and then as the panels went on, they went earlier in time until it was <laughs> before <laughs> that she was born, and the last panel is like, "Hey, I'm Dracula." <laughs> Now translate this. <laughs> <laughs> Ni hao, I'm Dracula. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? I think that's pretty good. Yeah. That might this movie really sucks good. three. <laughs> this time it's a comic blood. strip. This movie <laughs> sucks three blood. Yeah. Um, three. I, but anyway, I, I realize that I'm very bad at art. And like I art is the thing for you. Like, you know, when somebody comes after, uh, up to you after a comedy show, like yeah. somebody you know, and they're like, I could never do that. I could yeah. never do. That's how I feel about artists. Yeah. Anytime I see a guy at a river with an easel, I go up and whisper into his yeah. beret, I could never do it. I, I come up to you after you go up and I'm like, I could I never could do that. Just fucking bomb <laughs> yeah, up there. I knew you're gonna just <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just I'm just how kidding. do you make your dick look so small? No, dude, you're a really good comic. And, bomb and at the so same are you. Time. Thanks, you guys so are, are both so funny. Thanks, And I'm funny. really proud to do this podcast. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, now you have to leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I could be an artist, I think. I, th- I don't think it's that hard. This is art. No, but like a drawing artist? Yeah. An I illustrator? I have to pee a really bad. That means it's art. Oh, yeah, go pee. No, no. It's no, for we'll, the art. No, we'll, we'll get to a break. No, you should pee. Do you intermission? Yeah, we intermission, of course. Yeah. Charles P is like... We've been, ge- we've been getting it down because you've been... I think one episode you peed no less than six times. Are you serious? No, I pee all the time. I don't want to lose the momentum. Damn, the kitty's going straight for the books. Yeah, she goes behind the books. Wow, that dude. She's but it looks like reader. she's like going to pick one out. It right does. Now. <laughs> it does look. She's like like grabbing it the same way a human does. She's looking at the TV like. Mm. Yeah, she's yeah, like she's maybe like, this do I one. Watch something or read yeah. something or maybe I'll eat the plant. She's like, whatever I pick now, I will read. So I got to make a careful <laughs> choice. <laughs> I will not. not yeah, I, will oh, I can't go book. back. Yeah. yeah, I can't second guess. That's what I do. I just grab a random. When I'm done with the book, I'll just grab a random one because I don't want to overthink it. Oh yeah, how was the rainbow fish? The what? <laughs> Is that the child's book? <laughs> <laughs> you think you could be an artist? Can you draw? Um, I, you think yeah. you could be a? Fo- you come into my house? Yeah, I think I could be an artist. No way. There's I come so many. Yeah, there's so many books on. Look at what yeah. Van Gogh did. He just copied that Charles Dude, Schwab book. Or if you drew doing? every day for like ten years, all right, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, you could be a. You'll very be good. good. I, I thought it was funny though the, that he in the letters bringing it back to the letters. I thought it was funny that he to his brother was like. Yeah, you know, maybe these figures aren't exact, but I think they're more emotive. Yeah, that's what he would Which do. Which is a that's funny what he excuse. No, he puts a lot of excuses in his shit. He's, like, apologizing so much for his shit. Yeah, it's very cognitively yeah. dissonant. He's like, no, I'm. Uh, there's a purpose behind why this drawing of hu- a human man looks like a horse. Yeah, and Theo has to, like, dance around these sensitivities because he's so sensitive. He yeah. can't really handle any criticism. So right, Theo's Vincent's like, you think this is good, right? Or I'll kill myself? Yeah, and basically. Theo's like, yeah. Theo's, Theo's like classic, just like, <laughs> I love the emotion of what you're doing. Yeah. There's a lot of clear, there's definitely paint yeah. on yeah. these paintings. And I love how, I like how, the, you made how much paint you've used. Sun red. <laughs> he actually had a lot of problems with how much paint Van, Vincent was using. Cause yeah, because yeah, Theo was, uh, we haven't actually said this yet, Theo was supporting him financially. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's getting really into paint, and that, so the Ricky, um, not Ricky Theo. <laughs> Theo's looking at the spreadsheet. He's like, "Dude, how are you going through this much paint? Are you yeah. eating yeah. it?" Yeah, no. He, what well, are you doing with the paint? him the paintings, and they're caked on with paint. And he's like, J- "Can you just he use holds it less sideways? Paint? It's as thick as it yeah. is long. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Dude, s- cube." But that's what's like. Photographs of Van Gogh stuff just don't like 
that's what they don't express. Yeah. You have to see them in person to see how much fucking paint is on these canvases. <laughs> You, you should be see, an art dealer. Dude, you can <laughs> see the guy's fucking fingerprints in there. Really? Yeah, yeah it's fucking caked on paint. They're truly like three-dimensional paintings. And hey, so... Don't. Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Ooh, oh, wow. that's the good thing about cats. They're graceful. Yeah, I believe in it a whole time. If a dog time. did that, all of my equipment would be ruined. <laughs> but Ricky just rainbow jumped over my yeah. computer. So the, the financial stuff is complicated what an because... Idiot, <laughs> your cat's an She's idiot. She's looking for the laser. When she gets bored, she looks for what the laser. What do you mean looking for the we laser? We have a laser pen. The dog that was killed. <laughs> we, have a, we have a laser pen now, so anytime she gets bored, she because I do it on the ro- I do it on the ceiling. Yeah, I actually that heard there. that's uh, not good for them because Look, they can never get it, so it actually creates some kind of stress. We have uh, we have other toys that we she can physically attack, but she loves the laser. Okay, she's always looking for it. Yeah, so. lasers like pornography for cats. Yeah, you know? their brain. You don't want to overuse it. It sets up unrealistic but, expectations. But there's a time and place. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. For <laughs> yeah, have you noticed the big refractory period in your cat's uh, like uh, lust for the laser <laughs> ability to get interested in the yeah. laser again? Yeah, it kind of takes her a while. Yeah, have you had to use weirder lasers? <laughs> the more time like passes? a brown dot, <laughs> <laughs> like There's a smaller, a, tighter little laser. We do have a midget laser. laser she loves. You have yeah. a what? A midget laser she loves. Oh my god, <laughs> take this out. <laughs> <laughs> it's all staying in. Leave it. Leave it out. <laughs> Podcast won't get You're published. changing the verbs. You're I like, want take it, leave it. Let me uh, let me edit that. I'll let you edit it. Of course. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You do your thing. Um, yeah. It basically, took a lot of time for Vincent to find his thing, mm-hmm. and so he. C- this was the issue, and this is why it's like he was bad at doing conventional yes. art. Yeah. It just took him a very long time because he was so passionate that eventually he figured out how to express his passion in the art in a way where people felt the passion. Mm -hmm. And part of that was like, oh, there's layers of paint on here. This guy is really intense. He's like really feeling shit. But he kept trying to do things the conventional way, and and it's so bad. He doesn't know how to do it. And it was at a perfect time, too, because this the 19th century was good in a way from the conventionalism. Yeah. And there was a point where I think he was writing a letter to Theo, or maybe it was within his own journal. I don't remember if he, something like that. But he goes, maybe I'm not the conventional guy. Maybe I'm not going to be able. Maybe to I'm do not. It as I don't know. Good. Yeah. yeah. But, but I. But I could be something else. Yeah. It really was what it was, and you it was the great. picture of the the guy with the shovel. Yes. And he was like, "This is who I am." Yeah. He's like, "This I is realer than real." The pain. This is truer than true, of baby. This guy digging. Yeah. Sure. It, it, there's no way this man could physically exist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> that's secondary to the emotion of the digging. Yeah. He loved drawing peasants. In the uh, parsonage, his whole family they were really. His father raised them a lot with the concept of like you reap what you sow. That was like the one of the, almost like the slogans of his family, and so a little different than live, laugh, love. Yeah, and so That's they the had this <laughs> you this, reap what you sow. This famous painting by that dude Millet or whatever. Yeah. Like how, it's like of like it's called like a sower. Oh yeah, and it's like yeah. and so like he's haunted. That by is this, a dope painting. Yeah, he's haunted by this image, and so. That's the thing is that he's driven so much by this idea that the more he suffers, the greater his reward will be, you know, uh, like yeah, that of a farmer. Like the more he breaks his back, the more crops he'll harvest. Yeah. And okay. so like and that's why it's like so Vincent's putting himself through this unnecessary gauntlet. Right. And at Theo's footing the bill. Because, like, it, 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 this is where Vincent's not very sympathetic because it's a little bit like like, you know, Rich kids that go to New York City yeah. and they're like, I'm going to be an struggle. authentic artist. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, where do you live? This town, this uh, brownstone well, my yeah. by myself. My brother and my dad are paying for it, but yeah. I am poor. Look yeah. at these holes in my jeans. Yeah. But it's, it's gross to get out of it in my Maybach. But they're like yeah. not rich. They're like yeah. they're like middle to upper middle class. They and, as in and, and, and the really the just fahlas. his brother's doing better. Yeah. But yeah. his brother's not like rich. Like his brother at one point is giving like, I don't know. More than a quarter, maybe half his salary to like Vincent, because Vincent's just burning through money. But this is <laughs> this is what's fucked up. That's where this all is, the money's going. Theo has to like give him money, and the father has to give him money because they're living in a time where like basically they know Vincent's unwell. Yeah. But it was at a time where like if you had a mentally ill family member, that could fuck up the whole family. How so? Because like he has unmarried sisters. 
and they like suddenly become like oh, a pariah damaged, family. you know? Yeah. Where people are like, we're not married. They're brothers. Fucking insane. So Vincent's mental illness is holding the whole family hostage. Yes. <laughs> the no, reputation. no. They're like, they're like all anxious. They're all stressed out. They're all writing letters to yeah. each other about how's Vincent doing. Yeah. Because, Give him all like, the pain he needs. So that they they're giving him money because they're like, they're like, otherwise he will literally roam the streets. Like, and, uh, you know, and he'll, yeah, and he'll go like be publicly like crazy, which is so shameful. Right. Yeah. And he's at home getting the money like sunflower drawing. And so it's just a lot of Theo is just like placating him, just keeping him from having like public episodes. Public breakdowns. Yeah. Just, it's like just, and so it's like, it's such a sad dynamic Yeah, because Theo does love him and Vincent is an artistic genius and Theo recognizes that. And Theo loves his brother, and Theo's supporting his brother. Well, there's also no, there's no choice. Well, let's get in, let's get into how Vincent was like a really tough hang. Yeah, he's like a very difficult guy to be around. Yeah, he's really sensitive. If anyone disagrees with him, he fucking flies off. Which the is handle. tough because he's not a, you know, I mean, he is obviously a genius painter, yeah. but like when he was first starting out, he wasn't great. Yeah, and so people are probably trying to give him criti- criticisms yeah. or trying to help him out and stuff, and he's like getting offended. He's very sad. he gets into fights with every professional artist that Theo introduces him to. Yeah, and these which are must great have been artists. So frustrating. <laughs> yeah, these yeah. are like the greats. He's like, this is Bill Burr. And yeah. he's like, yeah, I don't know, I don't get yeah. it. Yeah, I don't really understand. Like, yeah. Your brother's brutal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 And he's saying the types of stuff that's like it would be the most defensive thing ever. It's like, yeah, actually, I'm kind of trying to go in a direction where I'm not getting laughs. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like actually realer right. to not get them. Yes, that's true comedy. Yeah. yeah, true comedy is the absence of comedy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It must have just been so hard for uh, for Theo to just constantly try to support this guy, give him networking opportunities, and he bungles every single one. Doesn't he get him into art school? Yes. Yeah, so like when they go, when he, when Vincent goes to live with him in Paris, oh, he's right, like, yeah. "Hey, if you want want to be an artist," mm-hmm. because Vincent had just spent the better part of a decade like trying to be a preacher. Without getting proper training. And oh, right. Like his early Oh, yeah. He printed 20s. a certificate. He tried to be a preacher. <laughs> no, his dad, like, tried to get him to go to, like, a That's real... That's where all the paints went, <laughs> is the forging a preacher's certificate. Be- being a preacher was, like, a lot of work. You had to, like, go through all this classical training. You had to learn, like, Greek and Latin and, sh- and oh, wow. like, all this shit. And so his dad was like, if you really want to do it, we'll pay for you to go and get the stuff. And, like, yeah. he burned out of that school because he w- just wasn't good at school. And so, like, he's like, no, I want to be an artist. And they're like, oh, no, like, Vincent's doing the same thing he did with preaching, but now he wants to be an artist. And so it's like, uh, Theo's like, hey, if you're in Paris, like, I can get you some real, like, art training. It might improve the stuff you've been making, which is garbage. (laughs) And I mean, great. It's, you know, you're getting there. And then Vincent, like, can't. It's a, an art school where, like, it's all classical training. They're like, you have to do these drawings. And they're like, don't even think about, like, drawing from life like a human figure until you're like way into this yeah, until Vince, you've got like a chair and yeah an and Vincent, apple Vince down. is like i gotta draw people always draw people he's like obsessed with drawing people always be drawing people and this is part of like glenn the, gary glenn van gogh this is part of the stress is he's always needing money to pay for models and they're like why don't you get good at drawing dude i didn't even think about money going towards models that he yeah had to, that had to sit i feel like he also painted some random people i thought like he just friend. painted random well, he, poor people there was the uh, the friend of his that's the famous thing where he has the the yellow it looks like uh what the post guy oh the mailman the postman? yeah was it the, mail, the yellow and the blue sky his friend who he painted he's like wearing all blue right the guy's wearing yellow but it's very being, being blue chased by a dog it. letters flying out of a bag <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's him <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the first time he painted his friends, is what I'm saying. But that was the first time he saw the clash of like color, or he's like, "Oh, the yellow and the blue." Really, you know, you know what was interesting about the color. You know that you know that bedroom drawing or the bedroom painting. Yeah, of my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, you know that yeah. I painted. Yeah, I'll show you later on <laughs> yeah, our date. We can't talk about that. <laughs> The the, the uh, <laughs> it's very like placid colors and everything. Yeah. It's like it looks like a very rudimentary, yeah. like kind of childish depiction of a bedroom. But apparently he wanted uh, the, all of the colors to be so calming that the viewer had no choice but to feel relaxed, much like he was forced to relax when he went to the asylum. That was his, like, he had all these grand ideas yeah. behind his art and everything. That's when I think probably the guy you were talking about before, the, like, color theorist, mm-hmm. he got obsessed with this, like, color theorist. Yeah, yeah. And so that's why he insisted on, like, the black and whites, because he's like, there's a way 
to use different grays to evoke the feeling of colors oh, before funny. he switched to colors. And Theo's like, what about just colors? Theo's like, we have a thing called yeah. colors you could yeah. also use. There's yeah. an easier way to evoke color. <laughs> Didn't he say there was like 40 different types of blacks or something? Yeah, he's All saying, st- yeah, he's saying <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> He changed his mind a lot, though. He had like uh, different opinions all the time. Remember the in the YouTube was like uh, he kept begging his brother to read these books, and then he the Theo did read these books. He's yeah. like, ah, I'm so happy you read these books. I can't wait to discuss them. And then like a few letters later, he's like, I've burnt the books. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the books were bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. And that's what I think happened. I don't think there was hate for line drawing, but I think eventually he finally accepts color, and it was the. I think the best choice he could have made. I just think it's so funny that in like, I don't know, he, he made this whole, st- I, mean, I know artists do this, but there, there's like a reason behind the color and there's this whole, I just think it's funny that he painted a bedroom and he's like, yeah, the viewer's gonna feel relaxed. They're like I was, sleep when they like see I this. was forcibly detained. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's like, it's like a little angsty bedroom. Meanwhile, people walking by like, I don't know. It's fine. Is that Van Gogh? Isn't that guy crazy? Yeah. My 11 year old did something similar the other day. That's what I wonder is how many people, I don't know how, publicly accessible these things were but how many people walked by and were like is that from the crazy guy is that the crazy guy the crazy guy stuff i do want to say that uh more just about his personality i don't like to pathologize people but i do feel like he had a personality disorder i feel like he had like borderline or something he for sure had a personality disorder and then it was just exacerbated by the alcohol and right probably the fumes from the paint and all all that paint and then the syphilis he was putting a towel under the door yeah (laughs) when he painted the paints here (laughs) and there was like a lot of mold in the yellow house like oh is that why it was yellow all the mold yeah (laughs) yeah it was all yellow (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Yeah. even when he was like i th- i think when he and um what's his face Gauguin, is am i saying it right i think gogan gogan but it's probably the french like yeah <laughs> yeah i think when he and uh, lived together <laughs> even uh even when they were agreeing gogan would be like yeah it's a, it was exhausting like yeah. they would be talking about artists and stuff late in the night and he'd go to bed feeling like he just ran a marathon talking to this guy. Yeah. You know? I mean, have you ever talked to somebody who was a little manic like during an episode? It's and you're exhausting. Like, it's like they yeah. take you into warp speed. Yeah. Even if, you know, even if you're on like a car ride and you're shit talking comics, which I feel like is what these guys were doing, like talking about who's good, who's you bad. You think that's art? Who's a hack? Who's yeah. not? And it's fun at first, but then you just you're like, oh, my God, am I home yet? Oh, yeah. But that was the good parts of their relationship. And the bad parts is they'd get in fights. He'd cut his ear off, throw it at him, you know, and you only have so many uh, bullets in that (laughs) gun. So much cartilage in that head. (laughs) They don't grow back. Um, But one of my theories is why as to why Vincent and Theo's relationship. And I'm interested to hear your opinion as the book reader. Right. As the guy who read as the guy who read the one whole book. (laughs) One of the reasons that their relationship was so strong is because of the distance between them and because their correspondence was occasional. So he wrote 800 letters or so over 18 years, which is only about like one every 10 days. Right. About which is a very manageable relationship to keep up corresponding once every 10 days about something you're already interested in like art like i feel like if they they had phones every day theo would wake up from 18 missed calls from vincent yeah being like i have a yeah. problem wait i solved it i have another one is this good am i bad a bunch of gifts a, what bunch, do you think? Of, a bunch of gifts yeah, yeah. You know, i feel like the fact that they were separated and the fact that they communicated by letters is why their relationship was so strong because when they eventually lived together they kind of got on each other's nerves real bad yeah what do you think about that? I think it's. Uh, I think it's a decent theory. I you think, think I'm wrong again? No, no. I think that. <laughs> I think that. I think that makes sense. Um, it definitely would have been way worse with phones. Yeah. Let alone FaceTime or anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. He's like, at a gallery, just like screening his calls. Yeah. yeah. And then he sends him a picture of like a shadow outline of a scissor around his ear. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. like, I'll fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's always threatening to cut off body parts. It would have been tough. No. Yeah. Letters kept their relationship alive. Dude, some of the letters though, he would they write. Get sassy? Dude, he would write letters. It's, I mean, it's so funny in retrospect. He would write letters where he'd be like all pissed off at Theo. He's like, "You don't believe in me. You're being a fucking asshole." And then in the same letter at the end, be like, "Hey, sorry about all that stuff I wrote." <laughs> <laughs> Just earlier, yeah. <laughs> when he's like, "I, my hands tired. I'm not gonna write a whole new letter." Yeah, that was an hour <laughs> ago. It's like Vincent, you don't have to send this. <laughs> <laughs> like he's writing like it's a live. Yeah. Like he's on the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't unsay it. Yeah. <laughs> Another letter comes, and again about that first yeah. letter, I really <laughs> apologize. 
He's like, I don't think. Now that I'm thinking of it, I don't apologize. Fuck you. Just go <laughs> yeah, the last one. <laughs> P.S. Fuck Never you. Never mind. Yeah. No, but it is a great point too because from Theo's perspective, if Vincent's being like writing insane stuff, like uh, you can also just wait a while to send a letter. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can, can just cool be off. like, oh, I didn't get that letter. Yeah. Or oh, they didn't send my letter because there was so much dirt. Uh, there was too much <laughs> dirt. The dirt rains. The, road. the rains have been heavy yeah, the, recently. The rains. Dug up a lot of dirt. Up a lot of dirt. Yeah, and no guy uh, was showing up at your door like he read it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it's a read receipt. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the guy who takes it. He's, he's looking like, at I saw him read it. Yeah, yeah. he's just reading he it. He read it like three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's like pretty good weather. Pigeons yeah. are flying. I don't know yeah. why. He's I got not, here yeah. in record time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's doing. It. I actually have. And uh, he started writing another one <laughs> and then stopped. <laughs> he definitely read it and started. He wrote to somebody else. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he drew a picture of his art. Yeah. Of his what? Not you know, his family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um Yes. What else we got? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Look, I'm trying I'm yes. trying to keep I'm trying to keep the ship moving forward. <laughs> <Just finally>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a yas? <laughs> yes. Yas kinda died. I don't hear anybody say it anymore. Yeah, well yes is yeah. in. Yes is yes the yas. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, well, eventually they move in together. What? Yeah. What precipitates? What? What, uh, what? precipitates? Yeah. What's that's a uh, word, right? What preempts that? I don't remember the order of everything happening because uh, there's so much time on a lot in of the time world, in your you know? life and and uh, but at some point Vincent just shows up. He I keeps threatening to come to Paris. He's like, you know, really, it would be ideal <laughs> if we lived together because you would save money. And Theo's like, and. <sighs> He's like, you know, I have a one bedroom. Yeah, and he's like, and we'll be <laughs> united as brothers. And we can always talk about art. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool, Theo? Basically. You could introduce me <laughs> to all your friends. Wouldn't that be really neat? The brothers together and then hanging he, out? He does just show up and then he I think the family kicks I think he lives with his family. And the family's like, oh my god, I oh, can't handle this. Yeah, yeah he yeah, goes well, back. That, that was you know it. What it is? That was it. Yeah. Vincent Van Gogh lives like Charlie Sheen and uh, no, like uh, <laughs> the other guy in Two and a Half Men. He shows up and he's like, just a little bit, take yeah. me in. And Charlie oh, the Sheen's kind of gay guy. Charlie Sheen, yeah, Alan, what? Rickman. Alan, Alan, and yeah. then uh, yeah, Alan Charlie Rickman. Sheen's like, look, I'll let you stay, play my piano, whatever. I'm doing well. And then he just stays, and they can't handle each other. What is Charlie Sheen's job in Two and a Half Men? He's writes jingles. He's a jingle oh, writer. He's a jingle man. And he's loaded from yeah. it. Oh, nice. You make a lot of money writing jingles. Yeah, that's yeah. probably why they had the idea to yeah. make him a rich jingle man. <laughs> yeah, but somebody that's actually wrote my uncle's name. Rich Jingle. Mr. Jingle. Rich oh. Jingle Man. Rich. Charles Jingle and Rich Jingle. <laughs> Rich Jingle. Mr. Jingleman. When at Ellis Island, they dropped the J and it yeah. just became Angle, but it used to be Jangle. <laughs> Do you think it related to Kurt Angle? The wrestler? Yeah. I think so. You must be, right? Yeah. Have you I think done so. a DNA test? You guys should go on, um, I guess Maury's not a thing. He leaves anymore. me on red a lot, but I feel like we're related. <laughs> 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 That's why he's leaving you on red. I'm like, hey, I think we're related. <laughs> Dead we're giveaway here, but check out my last name. Like when you were a kid, did you think maybe you were related? Well, I always my dad was adopted, so I'm not actually blood related. But maybe there's an adoption adopted relation. Adopted by that uh, wrestler. Do you know what your dad's adopted before name? Last name yeah. would have been Reed. Reed. R e i d. Chucky Reed. Like Riley. <laughs> <laughs> is that? A, do you think you're? I think no, I'm probably related to her. That's an artist. That's, that's probably more. She's an artist. That's a, a post impressionist. She's a yeah. She yeah. makes a lot of impressions. Yeah, she's a. A lot of splatter, yeah. A lot of splatter art. Oh, like uh, like come Jackson Pollock type of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah, this is a character I'm working on. <laughs> Guy who doesn't know about pornography, <laughs> like Jackson Pollock stuff. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they wrote a big book on Jackson Pollock too. You better not bring yeah. up another book in this one episode. <laughs> We're I, I have a lot about George Washington and one only. <laughs> I, I I did think about hijacking the podcast and talking about George Washington <laughs> as much. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about George Washington a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit though. He had brothers. Oh, really? That could be another app. Tease uh -huh. it. Tease it for the people. What? What? You got a little tidbit about George? He had a brother named Lund. 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 Oh boy, this is not good. Oh, I think it's a Nick. Lund? This is a failed hijack attempt. Lund you can't Washington? even get into the pilot really? store. You're like, it's locked. He had another brother named uh, Augustus. Augusti Aug Augustine. <laughs> well, there's no way to know. And he had a brother named Larry. Larry Washington, huh? Maybe. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't Glenn? No, he had a brother named Seattle. <laughs> That's good. Now That's we're where back. it comes from. We're back. That's where it comes from. 
So yeah. George Washington did enough to get on the quarter, but his brother did enough to have a town name after him. Mm-hmm. Who would you rather be? <laughs> Who would you rather be? <laughs> yeah. We asked that question. His brother must have been a bummer. I hated Seattle. Like yeah, the town. Seattle yeah. sucked. He was a rainy yeah. day of a guy. Put it on the record. It did suck. Oh, yeah, you yeah. guys both went to Seattle. Yes. I think back and I'm like, that town sucked, but I'm glad I met these guys. Everyone was so did you guys meet in Seattle? angry there. People were really mean yeah, to people, me in Seattle. People actually sucked. It really? was weird because you hear the yeah. rumors, then you get there and you're like, Oh, it's weird that you are. This are they like true. uppity mean? No, they're no, just, they're just mean. They're, yeah, just, they're just like just depressed. Oh. We- like the weather is bad. The, yeah, a lot of black metal bands come out of <laughs> Seattle. Grunge and stuff. And yeah. grunge, yeah. yeah, those are both pretty angry, like Nirvana. depressed. And the food. Yeah, is. famous black metal band Nirvana, <laughs> Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, <laughs> Dave Grohl, Dave Grohl, Foo Fighters. <laughs> 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 Start food. Also, uh, by the way, the food there sucks. Food yeah, the fighters. food sucks. <laughs> food sucks. Maybe they there. have good fish or something. Ugh. But who cares? Maybe you didn't try it. Yeah. You well, know what I did do <laughs> when I was in Seattle? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I would go to this fucking restaurant across the street from the hotel, and they would do <laughs> a side <laughs> of soft boiled egg. Okay. All right. And I would just get a bag of soft boiled <laughs> eggs, <laughs> and that would hold me over for the week. They would they th- give every it to you time in a bag? they would double check the order when they were taking it, and then when they brought it out, they'd be like, "Is this right? Did somebody here <laughs> order a oh dozen yes. a dozen soft boiled eggs?" <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I'm trying to get them reintroduced yeah. into my system. Yeah, and they uh, each came in a little like plastic. What's it called? A ramekin. Yeah. In a little plastic, <laughs> like a fish at a carnival, a little plastic <laughs> thing with like don't ar- shake it with like arugula, and I would just open them up and throw out the arugula <laughs> and just fucking down the egg. You would have twelve a day? No, like six. You'd shoot them back yeah. like Jello shots. Yeah. Have you ever seen <laughs> Shape of Water? Yeah. That fish guy who eats all the eggs. That's why you started. You were old, eggs. Greg. That was based on me. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Shape of Water was a sequel to Old Greg. Yeah, or maybe a prequel. I'm Shape of Water was a good movie. Shape of Water, great movie. Old yeah. Greg too. <laughs> it really made me mad when I tried to talk to people about that movie, and they they immediately wrote it off. They're like, "Oh, is that the one where she fucks the fish?" I'm like, "Yeah, that happened." Yeah, but it's but there's so much more. It's also flooded. She kissed him. The whole place is flooded. They have to have sex because yeah, otherwise to survive. What's g- yeah? Oh, does yeah. she get That's gills? Um, I think she does get gills. Actually, he g- that is a spoiler, but he gives her. Does she get gills? Well, she he heals. He goes, her. thanks for fucking me. Oh yeah, she gets yeah. Gills. gills. Yeah, she gets <laughs> gilled up. He says it's You're the best STD in the world. Yeah, you just got. I gilled. fucked this guy, and now I can breathe underwater. Yeah, <laughs> and I break out in bumps every now and then, it's but it's kind of worth nice. it. Yeah. yeah. Would like you what, breathe underwater? I would love to breathe underwater. In my dream, right now. Wait, I dare you. <laughs> the room is filling up with water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cut to Monty pouring a glass <laughs> on the floor <laughs> <laughs> over and over. Um, <laughs> Your Jewish mysticism won't work here. Yeah. This is a Christian house. <laughs> Are you guys Christian? Yeah. I wasn't ra- strongly raised religious. Protestant? Strongly. No, yeah, I was raised Protestant. Protestant? I wasn't raised anything. Charles wasn't did you raised do Christmas? At all? <laughs> we did Christmas. That's pretty Christian. But I was, uh, our family's Catholic, but we didn't do, oh, I didn't even get uh We reenacted communion. the crucifixion. Really? Yeah. Every day before No, no commune. Um, I thought it was going to hell as a kid. Really? We didn't need communion. We're Protestant, so I don't think we do it. But we do it sometimes. Anyway, so Vincent and Theo lived together, mm. and that was a tough, tough time. Yeah, Vincent was like, He was like a dirty slob. Yeah, and It is tough, though, because they didn't write any letters to each other, Yeah, which makes sense. I mean, the letters that'd be strange if he slipped. I mean, they pr- it was probably passive-aggressive post-it notes. Did you eat my cheesecake? Right. <laughs> that probably would have been the letter. Signed, hey. you know, your yeah. fucking brother. I put my Who's name on the cheesecake you ate. <laughs> no, and it, it kind of got like you know when you have a bad roommate, yeah, and you don't want any of your friends to hang out at your place because oh, your roommate's yeah. bad. Yeah, that's what happened. I've been that guy. I feel. Uh, I feel bad. Theo kept being like, not bringing his friends over anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they said he was really dirty too. Yeah. Really yeah. dirty roommate. Yeah. Can't be the dirty roommate. No. No. If, especially if you're not paying any rent and you keep. Taking your ear off in the whole house, you're making it smell like paint. Yeah, that wouldn't be that bad. I don't. I don't really, mind, I don't mind the smell of paint. I hate the smell of paint. Let's really, smell some now and find out. Yeah, let's get out the paint, now. Jamie. Sorry, my boxers are tight. Oh, it's okay. Um, I was bunching up all day yeah, yesterday, but I bought brutal. some fucking discount boxers from one of those like random stores. It's literally called like Bobby's Bargain Bin. Oh yeah, there's one down the street called Bush. Jimmy Jazz. Really? Yeah, I, I think just Jimmy Jazz is a little high class. Oh really? A little more high class. Yeah. I didn't wear a lot of underwear during the pandemic. What about now? 
Yeah, I wear a lot of underwear now. Oh, okay. You're making up for it. <laughs> yeah. I wear twice as much. I'm wearing like three pairs right now. Yeah, I'm going to die with wearing net normal <laughs> yeah. underwear. That'd be so funny. If you knew you were going to die soon, it would be so funny to do something like that. You Try to even out underwear? your underwear? No, it just freak people out when they find you. You just have like seven pairs of underwear on. <laughs> and they're like, what does it mean? Yeah, and they're like, what? <laughs> well, eventually... One of Vincent's big dreams of the many that he has is to like have this artistic community where they where everyone can live in harmony and create yeah. art, which he should have known was doomed from the start because he, he's a piece of shit to live with. And this is before you continue. This is what I want to say is one of Vincent's big redeeming qualities. OK, OK, sure. because he is a genius. He is really difficult to communicate with. He is really difficult to work with. And he's really stubborn. He's making a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> but like he's not a hater. He loves art and yes. he loves the other artists and he's constantly consuming art and he's going to museums and even people that he's having feuds with. He never would shit on their art if like it if it was good. Like he's really believes in art, art and the other artists. Yeah. Like whereas other people that are difficult and mean like this think everyone sucks except that's for that. That's true. That's most people. If yeah. you are a difficult, mean person, you try your hardest to be like, no, nah, that that sucks. Yeah, and that's not him. Yeah. He, he dry, it's all internal. Mm. He's so upset that he's not as good as he, he wants to really be. He is really upset about you know? that, yeah. But he that thinks everyone else is doing amazing stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty rare in somebody with all his other personality traits. To yeah. still be a big fan and to still kind of uplift others in his mind. You read that in the... There was that quote, I mean, this is about Malaya's favorite, but he was like, I'm sure we'll see future amazing works in years to come, but you'll never reach the heights that Malay has got. Yeah. He's like, it's art, the best is already out Oh, yeah. There. He's like, yeah, maybe you'll equal Malay, but you'll never surpass him. Yeah. In, and he's like, so, so amazing. It, yeah. It is true. To, he's given props. To yeah. To be nice. in it for that long without success, it's it's almost, it's nearly impossible to find somebody who's not jaded like that. Yeah. Not bitter. Yeah. Or jealous. Yeah. He does think, like, he starts to do what I think a lot of people do when that happens, which he starts to be like, my stuff's just not, like, industry friendly, you know? Yeah. The industry yeah, just isn't going to get what I'm doing. It's not commercial You're saying yeah. he is doing that? yeah he's like yeah. but it's pure art right he's like it's the purest art and to his credit there are a bunch of letters where he does call his shot where he's like hey i'm sending you a painting right now theo you should definitely put it away because it's gonna be worth a lot of money someday really yeah and theo's just like okay uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah all right yeah, I'll take this and it's one. like that's crazy he was right but then you think about how many artists probably say that <laughs> yeah and that's, it's not that's what anything I was, yeah. there's so there's got to be I mean, he is a very unique case in the way that. Oh, his in terms of the strata of struggling artists. Yeah, that how many people. He was were closer also than a the, lot. Yeah. Yeah. He was meeting. He was like socializing, if if you know, however briefly, with these famous artists. Yeah, and people would. Try he's and working with Gauguin. They try and bit. help him, and people respected his like artistic knowledge. Like he's not an idiot. Yeah, like, he can talk like, art. This guy knows art yeah. better than maybe anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, well, Theo, Theo, I th and I'm not really sure how how this came about but i know that theo set in motion this plan to get vincent with gauguin in this yellow house quote in the south of france whatever and um theo financially supports both vincent and gauguin to move yeah. into this house together yeah this hype house this content lounge this creator vincent home. convinces theo that this is like a good business plan yeah and th and it, it is smart from vincent's it's perspective because yeah, theo's yeah. losing patience with him over time because it's like Vincent keeps being like, if you just keep going, this is going to be commercially successful. We're going to turn a profit. Vincent keeps phrasing it, and I think to like, what's the word? Assuage like his yeah. guilt. Yeah. To be like, yeah, we're is, in this together. He we is have very, a, We haven't. Have we talked much about Vincent's guilt that he's just like sucking from the fa like all this money yeah, and he time feels and resources, about it. and y that you got to imagine as the years go by, that pressure mounts. Yes. And like becomes almost unbearable. Because, like, the longer he goes without selling any paintings, which up to now he's not sold one. Yeah. And he only sells one. It's It's got to be, like, oh, he's, like, trying to think of things. Like, what if we lived together? Yeah. What if we all slept in the same house and made art? Yeah. What about that? So it's, like, he knows that Go Gauguin will actually put out saleable works. Right. And he's, like, well, gr group us together. And the net output of us in this house <laughs> will be making you money. <laughs> You and know? I'm a part of that. He's like, I'll recruit it's and V and G. Yeah, he's like, artworks. you give Gauguin a stipend, and then we'll share rent. And yeah, right. but it's like it was always ended up being worse than it was because it's like he ends up renting more rooms in this house, and it's like really expensive. And like he has a whole warehouse. Yeah, and he's he, not and, using. And he just keeps phrasing to Theo like this is an investment, 
and uh, he's and as if they're one. This uh, is why it's a so, red flag. <laughs> it's so hard to separate Theo from Vincent because they are almost like merged. They have such an unhealthy relationship, boundary right. wise. Even when they leave, uh, sorry, even when um, Vincent leaves his apartment. And Theo like kind of wanted him out. Yeah, Theo's like I miss him. I yeah, can't he's believe like, he's gone. Damn. Yeah. yeah. He's like uh, that dirty bitch. I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> yeah, he's like a crazy ex. <laughs> so yeah, he is. So Vincent keeps just like he needs the drama. He's like, this is this is how it works. You're the guy on the ground making money, doing the regular job. I'm the genius making great art, and you're funding it. And then we're going to make so much money off of this perfect... Because th- you keep referring to saying that Vincent's referring to himself as a genius. Did he think that he was all that in a bag of chips? He's like... I haven't said that in a long time. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I thought Vincent was very disparaging and like, I feel like I'm getting there. I want to get there. I know that I'm not there. He's, and that's why I'm so depressed. He's like alternating between okay. both, you know? I guess he is, you know, mentally He's like bad. having really down times, but then he's yeah. also making stuff. That he would get so excited about what he's doing where he's like, this is awesome. Yeah. You know? And so it's kind of like both. Right. Yeah. So they're living in this, uh, this, this hype house, whatever. Vincent starts drinking a bunch, which we haven't mentioned, and he's yeah. not and he's not eating a lot. No, he eats like bread, and I think he's foregoing a normal diet so that he can afford to to drink. He's also like punishing himself. He doesn't yeah, think he, he to deserves to eat. There's people like yeah. that too who live the kind of attached to that lifestyle where it's life. like the not the monk life, like the life of misery. Because yeah, that's honestly, the when I was reading about this and his life of misery, I th- and the fact that he didn't have a bed, I was like, I know who that sounds like. Yeah, dude, I, I a little modest Yahoo. Yeah, I like this. I like him. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, but and so. you used to. You don't. You don't drink anymore. No, I don't drink. I don't and you do have it. a bed. Yeah, you don't just. I got a bed. Now you have a bed. Yeah, because I got in a relationship, and it's just so hard to sell Bitches the floor. Bitches do be liking beds. Girl, <laughs> girlf- yeah. Girlfriends don't like the floor. No, but you would Fel- sleep on the fellas, floor. Fellas, have you ever noticed? Hey, fellas, <laughs> girlfriends <laughs> don't like sleeping on the floor. <laughs> even when it's a good floor, am yeah. I right, fellas? I do. I, I, I put a blanket on the floor. <laughs> it's not even a she floor still anymore. Still a thick blanket. Yeah. Yeah. I did have a thick blanket. Think of it as just a firm mattress. That's what I was... Use your imagination. Yeah. So I know it's hard you for your little, a pillow on the floor? <laughs> your little brain. I tried, but it's hard. You got to have crazy. a pillow. Uh, did you do one night with that one? Yeah, I did a bunch of... I did a lot of one nights of... I tried to do with nothing at all, just straight on the floor with my arm as a pillow. Like a cat. Yeah. Well, that's what the way I figure like it. Like a homeless Dog, person. Dogs and cats can sleep on the ground without... They don't need a bed. So I like how you're just trying to return humans to animals. I hate being a human. You're like, we should walk on all fours, <laughs> sleep, yeah. sleep with floor. no bed, no. poop in a box. I either want to be an animal or a robot. I don't like this in-between stage. Mm-hmm. And you think humans are the midpoint? We're in an in-between <laughs> stage right now. Yeah. We're, we ca- we're a little bit like robots. I mean, we're like cyborgs because we have our cyborg phones. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're you know, very where connected it's like, to oh, technology. Oh, uh, let me find out the thing. I'll go into my cyborg knowledge But extension. then we also have assholes that we poop out of, much yeah. like every animal. Which is so annoying. Except for jellyfish. I it hate, is annoying. I hate pooping. I hate eating. You hate pooping? I hate yeah. eating. Eating's the worst. It's so, uh, no. I'm a slave to no. my... You are a slave to eating and sleeping. You have to do that no matter what. I like the process of eating feels good i don't really I no you don't like eating food. i like pooping i li- only out really do i don't like in. poops though uh i have mixed poops how, how much toilet paper black and white what percentage of a roll of toilet paper yeah, desegregate use? I, there's <laughs> per wipe i, mean, uh, per, I use a whole roll per poop you use a whole roll <laughs> yeah but i think i'm doing it wrong i mean well, you i know you're rolling you round yeah it. I, I, do, I know yeah. you're joking it's like a lit like, roller i've been there you know <laughs> i don't know i've used I, I've that's used what happens when you sleep on the floor you gotta use a whole roll yeah. It's gonna come out somehow. The stress sucks. So wait, wait. Going so going going. I had you? that when I went to the office right before really? he I was late to a meeting. Oh, dude! Right it's before the, worst. the biggest, like all the presidents, whatever, got in. I was like, I think I'm gonna go get some water. Yeah. And I went to the bathroom, and I don't know how, but it like I kept having oh, to wipe no. higher. Oh, it just like got squeezed in. Up. Yeah. Up. up. You had like a poop, up. poop, a poop tramp stamp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It said my ex's last name. <laughs> 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 had to get it touched up. Put some more oh, poop on. Man. No, it was a sunset the whole time. <laughs> it was never <laughs> Vanessa. Up. It wasn't Jenna and Chains or something tribal. I don't know. <laughs> Jenna and Chains. Was it Warren. Alice and Chains cover band? Yeah. Je- Jenna, and Jenna, lo- was, Jenna locked up. I always thought it was Allison Chains. Allison, Allison Chains. Chains. First name, last name. <laughs> Dude, is there, yeah, Allison? Is Allison here? Chains. Allison. <laughs> is Mrs. Chains in? <laughs> <laughs> is there a Mr. Chains? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, my name's Albert Chains. <laughs> oh, we did, wait, we didn't talk about when they lived together. They were whoring it up. That's a, that's oh, yeah. important. That comes back. Right. Yeah. In a pretty evil way for, so, for Theo. So, Vin- so yeah. Vincent's tell like, us about Vincent and his horny. Vincent's like big bro. He's the first to just kind of go off doing naughty stuff, you the know? The first big brother. <laughs> Yeah, and so he's out there. He's oh, sure, reading, that can't be true. Because he, they grew up religious and repressed uh-huh. in a little town. So he's out there. He's reading like pop culture books, pretty Madame, controversial uh, stuff. Yeah, Madame Bov- Bovary, Madame Yeah, Cal and, uh, and uh, Les Mis. Les Mis. Yeah, all the Les all the, the top like Vincent and Thea. They love to read books. How They're, could there not be an X-rated play called Les Mis? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. They live in Paris, right? Yeah, they're yeah. in Paris. Yeah. And so they both get pretty into like, and it was like fashionable then to like go to brothels, like all sure. the artists were doing it. France has a big history. I of, see you at the brothel last night. Yeah, yeah you know I was there. <laughs> France has a big history of it being uh, fashionable to like fuck a lot. Really? Yeah, and there's French people now still. It's like sex is pretty early. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think fr- I think France is pretty liberated. Ben Franklin, one of the props that he got, unlike Adams, was that he was like fucking around really? a lot. Yeah, yeah, and that was like. We talk, you know what I'm talking about? Well, like, when can you explain France it better? They respected him for getting they a lot of women. They respected him. Yeah. That a was lot of like women a thing were, that a yeah. successful leader would do. You get a lot of ladies. Yeah, he's had like a harem. But he was like, yeah, when he would go places, women would flock to him. And then he would secretly be like, do you have a husband? Yeah. And they'd be like, yes. And he's like, I'll slip a letter under your door a little bit later, baby. Uh-huh. And then they all liked how scandalous he was because he was a genius and he w- was a lady catcher. Yeah, and all the other big le- political leaders were also doing that. So to they have do like it now, but it, yeah, now it's just you got to hide it, I guess. Right, but then it was, you had to flaunt it to show that you yeah. were uh, you you belonged. You belong. Yeah, can you get this country's sovereignty? Yes. Can you get a lady? <laughs> <laughs> can you get Jenna in chains? <laughs> That's really what we need to see. Okay, so he goes uh, he goes horned with his little bro. Yeah, and they're like awkward. they're writing about how much sex they're having and to, to each, each other? other. Yeah, how it's great to have <laughs> sex. <laughs> like this girl last night. Yeah, and just hey, isn't it know. great to have sex? Yeah, and and Theo's got like a kind of like a like a fuck buddy for a while. In Vincent? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry. You mean a woman? <laughs> I yeah. thought you meant a buddy. Oh, that he wingman like is fucks. what you meant. I thought yeah, you were thought making he... a joke as if Theo like was fucks. having sex with his no, brother. No, I thought you meant like finally he had a buddy to go to go fight. Got no, no, he's got, got wife. he's got like you know. He's be- like, dude, you got a wife? Yeah. Who's gonna be my fuck buddy now? Because back then it was like very, you know, it was like society was so much more sexist than it is now, and it's still pretty sexist. So it was like uh-huh. back then it's like you know guys they're gonna go and they're gonna sleep with prostitutes. That's, that's what fine. guys do. Yeah, but it's like women having premarital sex. That's so fucked up. Yeah. So it's like, but he yeah, had those prostitutes like, were married. Yeah, there was right. like a lady that he was like dating and like. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like a whole, you know, he's going through a real, like, he's going through his 20s, you know? So he's horned it up, and later that's going to come back because Theo contracts an STD that will lead to his demise that we'll talk about. One of the top STDs. One of the top. Yeah, BuzzFeed, top three STDs (laughs) to go crazy with your brother with. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then, fast forwarding when he's in uh, the yellow house with Gauguin. We were all yellow. Um, <laughs> that's why he was at the syphilis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why <laughs> I was all jaundiced. Yeah, <laughs> but what what was the ear thing? Like, what actually happened? So Gogan's the there, off of the ear. and Vincent's just impossible to live with. And Gogan's kind of like an asshole. Like, he's really full of himself. He's really arrogant. He's like a big like exaggerator. He like exaggerates about yeah, all these. He's like the women I was painting were eighteen. He's like oh. <laughs> But he like is like, oh, I went went on these adventures and I lived with pirates and I, you know, what I mean, like he's like oh. a, a guy that tells tall tales, he's a tall teller, and it's always he's like, I lived in the jungles, but it's like, oh, he like has a rich uncle that let him stay overseeing like servants on a plantation. In oh, the so Caribbean. he's like Bear Grylls, you know? Yeah, he's, he's like, like stolen valor. Yeah, he's like full of shit and then staying in a hotel. And he's like a real egomaniac. Okay, and so, but he's like has all these kids. And he's like, got to support his kids. It takes forever to convince Gauguin to come. And Vincent keeps telling Yeah, it's Theo, almost a full year. Yeah. It's February is when Vincent moves. And then October is when Gauguin finally joins him. Yeah, which is the like whole 10 time months he's later. campaigning. And then, yeah, or eight months, I guess. And then he, he's like, all right, I'll go. It's going to be easy money. And then he's like painting circles around Vincent. Like, <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he's just crushing him. And he's like intentionally being an asshole. Like whatever Vincent would paint. Gauguin would just paint it the same thing way oh, better. Oh, that is mean. Yeah. Wow. 
Wow. And then Gauguin's like so much more charming and like sexually appealing than Vincent, who's like already having like some teeth issues and stuff. Oh. And uh, not teeth issues. And so you know everybody had teeth issues. Yeah. That's why his mouth is closed in a lot of those paintings. Oh really? Yeah, he's got some teeth issues. But you got to think about the breath back then, yeah. too. Yeah. And so like Gauguin, like Vincent, all Vincent wants to do is paint women and, fuck. and have sex with them. Vincent's like so horny. He just keeps like he's like being kind of a creep. He just keeps like getting women to draw like he wants to paint them. And then he, you know, so he's like hiring prostitutes to let him paint them. But even a lot of them are getting freaked out. Gauguin has no problems like this. He's so charming. Just beautiful women will let him paint them. Wow. Yeah. And Vincent keeps to trying to like Gauguin is known for th- his main thing is, is painting Polynesian women, which I think were underaged. Regardless, yeah. I mean, it's pretty what easy to convince age a child of back then. I think uh, 11. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, that's fucked up. <laughs> I'm not sure. So when Gauguin's there, Vincent keeps trying to, like, hang around his paintings. He's like, I'll also paint the women you're painting. Ah, and, like, and also all this jealousy and, like, resentment. And they're getting these big philosophical arguments about art. Mm-hmm. And Gauguin just, like, doesn't respect Vincent at all. Because compared to him, it is, like, bad. and Sure. Because it's literally a brand new thing. Nobody understands it yet. So what happens with the ear? So Vincent has, like, an episode. Yeah. Supposedly that what happened was, like, Gauguin's threatening to leave. And Vincent's freaking out because he doesn't want to be alone. And he doesn't want Gauguin to leave. And Gauguin's like, I'm leaving. And he just leaves the house, like, for that night. And Vincent runs out after him. And <laughs> he's, like, yelling at him. He's like, you really leaving? He's like, yeah, I'm leaving. He's like, all right, well, then, like, he's like, well, then you're... You are committing murder. You're a murderer because you're killing me right now. And then Vincent goes back. You know, he's, it's a tough he's line. He's being dramatic. <laughs> yeah. And then Gauguin's like, all right, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> he just <laughs> keeps walking. And then There's Vincent blacks out, has an episode, cuts off his ear in the mirror. And then he, like, is trying to give it to Gauguin, you know? I thought he tried to give it to a prostitute. So he's, like, convinced that Gauguin's at this brothel uh-huh. sleeping with Vincent's favorite prostitute. No. Wow. <laughs> yeah. No. And he's that's like, my girl. that's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, bro. And so Don't he, break the code. And so <laughs> he's, like, he's like, send it up to her. Like, he'll know what it means, you know? And so, <laughs> like, <laughs> so he thinks she's yeah. with him. Yeah. And but they're not going to know who Gauguin is, but they and know Gauguin's who the woman like, is. I yeah. know that ear but if I've seen an ear yeah, anywhere. Ear but this is where times. the whole thing came out of like, oh, he sent it to a lady and everything. But like, it wasn't about a lady. It was just like he's he having was an episode. Trying, he was just using the lady to get to Gauguin. Yeah, he's like, okay. you know, the ladies run it up the whore pole. The lady's like one of his many grievances is he thinks that Gauguin has stolen like one of his favorite. I mean, to his credit, it's, it does sound like Gauguin's kind of stealing his shit. He's being an asshole. He's being a dick. But it's, like, a, it's not like it's not cut off worthy. your ear. No, I didn't say that. Yeah. And then... I think it was only like this part of the year. I thought it was, it was his it full year. It was like ear. part of the year. It wasn't really? the full year. Yeah, because I think he passes out. Before he, he could get the whole thing. Yeah, and, and they he, bring him to a hospital. And he wakes up and he's like bleeding. And then he goes and tries to give the ear. And then... Oh. Yeah, and then he winds up in the hospital. Damn. Yeah, you got to go to the hospital. And... Uh, that. I thought it was because he realized his, fi- his head wasn't quite symmetrical. And he's like, this will fix it. <laughs> no. <laughs> This is aesthetically what I need. This this is why Gauguin's getting all those chicks. I can't imagine being like waking up after a blackout manic episode and they're like, he's like, what What did I do last night? Well, someone throws an ear on your chest. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The hangover of four. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Instead of getting a baby. Theo's stuck on a roof. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That'd be funny. That'd be a funny movie. Theo's. Theo's. (laughs) We should just remake the hangover with the Van Gogh brothers. Theo's a naked Asian man in a truck. Yeah. Yeah. And he cuts his ear off uh, at, at all times in the ear on uh, Christmas Eve Ween, <laughs> December 23rd. Um, yeah, Christmas is a very emotional time for Vincent because a lot of times he would go back to the family. It was a big family time. Oh, so, so he's like, on Christmas, no less? Yeah, he would get fucked up around you're, Christmas. You're leaving oh, me? Dang. Yeah. Yeah, a little too much eggnog? Yeah, especially if he wasn't like coming home or he wasn't invited. Because I don't remember when this was, but it's like he starts to have falling out with his family. And right. This was after he lived with his family yeah, for a so little bit. Yeah, so his dad's dead at this point. Okay. And it's like he's never invited home again. He paints this picture of his doctor who fixed up his ear or whatever, Felix Ray. And it, <laughs> I love this picture because it looks like he kissed his ear better. Look at those lips. Yeah, those are nice Look lips. at those puckering lips. Yeah. Come here, Vincent. Yeah, those are <laughs> nice. I'll make it all better. That looks like the devil. Uh... <laughs> Doesn't he looks look like, like an the, Asian man. Like the devil hiding? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It, uh, it looks like the devil hiding in... Uh, like a skinwalker or something. But Van Gogh, uh, sorry, Vincent writes off this ear thing as a, quote, simple bout of artist craziness. 
Yeah. Which, like, I feel like he doesn't really romanticize it, but just tries to be, like, sweep it under the rug. Yeah, I like, I think he's like in denial. Nothing. Yeah. Which, you know, how could you not be in denial? He's like, yeah, this is a one-time thing. This is not me. This is just something that happened to me, you know? Meanwhile, are people are people in town aware of this? Yeah. I mean, are you walking by yeah, and people, people are like, know. It's yeah. not a big town. Everyone knows that's, like, the crazy guy's house. <laughs> Don't and go in the there. Big kids. yellow house. Yeah, and oh, the man like, with no ear. I think after this, like that's when like the town basically like like mobs up. Like they're like, we got to get this guy out of here. They Frankenstein, like, yeah, pitchfork they're, like, and torture. They like petition. They're like, this guy can't really? stay here at the yeah, yellow he house. Gets, like kicked out of town. Basically. No way. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, Theo writes in this letter. He's like, it pains me to know that you're still in a state of incomplete health. Although nothing in your letter betrays weakness of mind. On the contrary. The fact that you judge it necessary to enter an asylum is quite serious in itself, which sounds like he's saying you seem lucid in your writings. And the fact that you're checking yourself into an asylum is a pretty sane thing yeah. to do. Yeah. So it feels like almost Theo is in denial. I think that his Theo's brothers beginning to like, he's, this is like his, when he's with it, he's found this woman now and he's like wrapped up in this. He's like, like, you're okay, right? He's like in a new relationship. You're good. Yeah. He's like, I really don't want to go you down there right now. You're in an asylum. You checked yourself in. You seem great. Yeah. He's fully like infatuated with, with Joe Bunger. With Bunger. Yeah. Yeah. We should talk about Joe. Joe. Uh, what's up, Charles? Yeah. That was her last name. Sorry. Joe Bunger. I was thinking of a different one. Yeah, so he meets this woman, Joe, um, proposes to her. She says no at first, apparently, which is pretty common. Yeah. I feel like in the old days, you proposed early and like rep- oh, like multiple times. Yeah, but this is like more, this is evidence of the general familial issues with the Van Gogh siblings and just Hereditary, because like Theo yeah. gets really worked up and he's like, Joe Bonger is my soulmate. I got to oh, marry Joe her. Joe is to Theo what like art is. To yeah, and Vincent. he's like, becomes obsessed. He's okay. like, oh, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to marry Joe and everything's <laughs> going to be amazing. And like, and he goes and proposes and it's his friend's little sister that he met like, it's like the the equivalent is like your college roommate, like her sister comes to visit one weekend. Yeah. And you're and like, you like oh get my along. Soulmate. And then she leaves and you're like, I'm in love with her. Right. And so he shows up and she's like, I don't even know you, dude. <laughs> like she's so weirded out by it. Yeah. And it devastates him. And he's so upset. Vincent kind of revels in it because now they have this shared like, oh, rejection. Uh, none you know? of us get pussy. Yeah. <laughs> well, the Van Gogh brothers are at it again. Give yeah. me your ear. Yeah. You can make an argument like if Van Gogh was better with women, he never would have painted any of this stuff because it like was <laughs> tormenting him. Uh-huh. He's just like so unlikable. Yeah. Yeah. Charles, you got anything to say? But they eventually marry, right? They do. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then he write that. And that was one of the initial letters that Theo wrote and was like, Hey, I'm in this relationship. I can't believe it. And then that drove Vincent away. He was like, oh, my God, now my brother's getting detached. Well, he's realizing that he's starting to fork off and have an independent life for himself. And he really feels that when Theo's having problems at work. And he's like, I'm going to start my own art firm. These guys are bullshit. I hate the bureaucracy, whatever. And Theo, or sorry, Vincent realizes that that's going to take uh, Theo further away from him. Because right. if you're starting your own business, that's a big endeavor. Yeah. You have a kid, you have a wife. Um, and also it's like going to like, you know, he can't be giving him all this paint and prostitute model money anymore if he's going to try to start his he's own business. He's got to start up. Yeah, exactly. So then I think Vincent really starts to get worried about what's going to become of their relationship, which is the main relationship he has in his life. Yeah, it's all he has it's left. It's really yeah. all he has. At a it's certain point, he's burned every single bridge. Yeah. Theo is all he has. Yeah. Can I, Let me ask you this. Do you think... We think Theo th- saw greatness in Vincent. I think while Vincent's alive, Theo doesn't. Really? Yeah. Not even in the end when he gets his paintings in like the salon independent? Even then, I think Theo's like a little confused. Okay. And like because Theo's critical of like the potato eater, like some of these most famous paintings at the time, Theo's I immediately. The potato eaters is kind of universally like everyone's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, crazy. now they're like, it's one of his most famous paintings, you know? It's like, and Theo's critical of Starry Night. When he first sees it. Oh, really? Like, yeah, Theo's not, like, giving him the benefit of the doubt. He's like, have you doubt. ever seen this guy? There's no swirls. But it's like... You fucking idiot. But it's like, I think it's just because he's so resentful that it's like he's coming at it with such bad energy. And he's like, this Theo? is what you made? Yeah. It's so interesting because in the myth of Vincent and Theo's relationship, people can frame it to be something that it, you know, is maybe different than was portrayed in, in this, which I feel like is kind of the gospel for their, the book that you read. Yeah, this right? is it's new, like the yeah, actual this history. Is a crazy but in terms of like the Van Gogh Museum in the Netherlands, in terms of that lecture that we watched about that guy, it's all framed as this beautiful, loving, supportive 
relationship almost throughout their whole whole relationship. Yeah. Do you think that's not accurate? No, I think Theo is really resentful of Vincent. I think he does love him. It's very complicated. Yeah. It's a common dynamic that I think people go to therapy when they're in a caretaker position. Sure. Because it's so complicated and right. it is such a mess of emotions. There's literally support groups for people that are caring for like a sick relative or something. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Because it's like you can't help but have these feelings. And so it's like, you know, he loves his brother, but he also is like being held hostage by his brother. And he starts to yeah. feel it when he's starting to, when he's trying to start a family. And he's like, I'm severely hindered here financially. And then he goes ahead and names the baby Vincent. Yeah, Vincent yeah. Willem. Vincent's like the best name in the Van Gogh it family. It is, yeah. Oh, yeah. so yeah, you're right. It was just maybe a... Yeah, maybe yeah. not related to Vincent, that guy, but just Vincent, you know, the other guy. Dead, <laughs> the dead baby. baby. Yeah, dead, dead baby Vincent. Vincent. Vincent was like the name of the... Yeah. Van- it was like the top name. Vincent finally does get a pa- get some paintings into an exhibition. And yeah, there's so an article written. So, so what happens there? There's just one guy. This I'm is gonna, like the gonna, brief yeah. glimmer of Vincent's success so in, his, in his life. It's 1890. Like the w- it's like the, the year the, he dies. The winter of 89... 90 like you know christmas and he dies january six he months dies later summer of 90 yeah this guy i don't know how to pronounce his name albert ori 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 yeah whatever yeah. you can write the text out albert this dude is like fat albert uh hot young like art critic mm-hmm. he's like in his is that early your 20s opinion of him <laughs> no no that's what it was he okay. was like a young upstart art <laughs> critic, and everyone in He's like a sharp chin, six pack ab, have an art critic. Everyone in impressionism and like post impressionism is like becoming obsessed with like passion and feeling and like what's the most authentic art. And this guy like right at the time where v- Vincent's about to have a full mental breakdown. Yeah, his his style of art is finally becoming popular, and so as he's losing it, Gauguin's going around town. Being like, you guys got to hear this story because he likes to tell these tall tales. Yeah, and about, dramatic- I, I used to live with this. He's one like, Vincent fucking went crazy incel. on me. He cut off his ear. Can you believe that and guy? And so this art critic is like, that actually sounds pretty fucking badass. <laughs> and he's like, that's what I was saying. He's about like, him. yeah. He's like, I gotta find more about this guy. So he starts looking in his paintings. He writes this incredible, like, uh, he he launches a new cool like journal, like a magazine. Mm. And the debut piece of his new journal is about this genius in the south of France. Really? He's like, everyone right now in Impressionism is trying to outdo each other with authenticity. He's like, what could be more authentic than a guy (laughs) who's so passionate, loves art so much, is so moved by humanity and reality that he cuts off his own ear? He's like, all of you are posers frauds. compared to this man. I don't see you cutting off your own ear in the name of art. And like overnight, everyone's like, who the fuck is this Vincent guy? Oh, okay. Because that's all they know him and too. And everybody John's like, we kicked him out. Yeah, they just... <laughs> yeah. Oh, that lunatic? They just know him as like Vincent. He's literally like in an asylum when this comes out. Yeah. And then... Uh, so And they, still painting in the asylum. And Joe's yeah, the one... Knight comes out of the asylum. Joe's yeah. the one who tells him which is so sweet she's writing letters to him and stuff and oh like, joe tells him about the article yeah, joe sends him a letter Damn, joe's she's like, a real patron she's like you're not gonna episode. believe what just happened she's like all of us were just sitting around <laughs> and we were reading this incredible article she's like everybody's been staying up all night and they've been talking about it and like uh vincent gets pretty fired up <laughs> he's in the uh, he's in a trade jacket like let's Dude. go <laughs> yeah. no so he like <laughs> bouncing off the padded walls <laughs> Woo! He's outwardly like pretty humble. He's I told like, you you made an investment. Vince, Vincent, baby. He's like, that could never be me. But he starts copying the article. He's like, they got to be talking about. And he just Vincent. starts mailing it to all of his haters. <laughs> <laughs> and he just keeps being like, I just thought this was interesting. <laughs> uh, I, found, I know you like to read. Yeah, I found an interesting article that it's interesting. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't even. I didn't even read all of it. But at it's the bottom are my pubic hairs taped yeah. to the article. <laughs> and so he, because he thinks that maybe it can like revive his art career. And yeah, he I mean, gets, it could. It he sounds gets, like it could. It is. It's like people are starting to talk about it. Sounds him. very promising. And that's when he like sell. And that's when he gets into a real exhibition. Yeah, and it's the alt version of the academic exhibition going on. It's the salon. How do we say this? Salon de Independent. And that's I feel like when everything like, rhymes in French. Monet is literally quoted as being like, "This is the best this shit. Is the real G. This is the best shit in the exhibition." Yeah. And Monet's like the the god of the time. You yeah. Know? And like. Every, and even Gauguin, every, this is this is why it's such an incredible lesson of if you're doing art that you cannot listen to anybody's opinion because like in an instant, 
everybody went from hating his stuff yeah. to everybody being like, oh, what a genius. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. everyone. It's yeah. the most it's the most stark example. It's the most contrast of anybody because nobody believed in him and all it took was one thing to flip. Not only did they not believe in him, they they actively thought he was bad yeah. and like a nut. Yeah, they thought it was terrible. And then in one moment, they're all like, oh, we get it. It's genius. Right. Yeah. What a genius. <laughs> so that's six months before he kills himself. Right. Which is what people say. And as we were driving here, <laughs> Mahdi's like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. And I was like, how can this stuff all be wrong? Like, I watched a lecture that a professor at a university gave. I, I, you know, I looked at Van Gogh things from like the museum in the Netherlands. But I think I said this earlier that it just when you have a guy who's this famous, a lot of people like to make up frame the story like how they would want it to be. Yeah. Which is that this tortured artist killed himself. Yeah. And there were these early narratives of him starting to become someone. Right. And these early narratives took hold and they just kept going for a long time. And so it's like that book was like so big. It's such a big deal because it was like. The first attempt at, like, they had uh, access to all these, like, digital archives. So they could just do research faster than anybody had ever been able to do research. Oh, so they said, like, yeah, and, like, at the end of the book, they say, like, normally it would have taken them, like, 30 or 40 years to write Mm, this book. And they did it instead in, like, 10, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like, because they they have so many letters of other people. Mm -hmm. Because previously stuff was just confined to those, like, Van Gogh letters. (laughs) But it's like they have so many letters from other family members, other people who knew Vincent. They're able to paint a much more complete picture. Well, so how did how did he then actually die? So he's like in the north of France. He he leaves the asylum, and the guy running the asylum because he's says going on like, tour now says he can go. Yeah, and he's like, I just need to be out in the air, in plain air. That's like his big thing. <laughs> plain air. He's I like, need that plain air. Yeah, he's baby. like, I got I got to be out there. I think you mean fresh. I mean plain. <laughs> plain. <laughs> and we so got everything like, air. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to like this place. It's Holy. like twenty miles north of France, I think. Yeah. And he's like, it's kind of close, or north of Paris. Okay. He's like, it's kind of close to Theo, but like, I'm doing my own thing, and he's up there. And sorry, I need water so bad. It's okay. You want, is this your water? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. I feel so like I we're just rambling. Is that what you do on a podcast? No, we're going. This okay. is good. This is good. I, so I mean, you think it makes sense? Or are we all over the place? No, it does. It does. Okay. And there's things that I can cut out. And okay. Yeah. You cut out my head? Yeah. <laughs> I did mean the video. I didn't mean the audio. <laughs> yeah. Cut out like my arms and my head. I'm going to actually just cut Thanks. out your eyes. So they're just going to be <laughs> Dude, black be voids. So funny. Okay. So Vincent, yeah, north th- of France. He's like trying out. Yeah, he's like, I'm make, I'm I'm about to fucking pop up. I'm about off. to pop up. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting in the plane yeah, air. Like, so then what happens? Things are good. Things like, are good. He convinced Theo, like, and the to like come visit him once, you know, and <laughs> okay, you know, Theo comes up, and like, I think maybe the baby comes too, and uh, but regardless, so he's hanging out. So what happens with the because we, so like everyone thinks that he shot himself with the chest. So it's like a regular town, but it's also like a place where like some rich people in Paris have like summer homes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, kind of like how like we have, you know, there'll be a beach town, and it's like so the locals sh- are poor. Yes. But rich people yes. come through. So he's chilling out in Long yeah. Island. And so one of these rich teenagers. The Alptons. Is people are getting really into like westerns. Okay. Okay. And they're into like Buffalo Bill. There's okay. Like these wi- or wild Buffalo Bill like shows that yeah. are like going This is global. when this is the same time. Literally yeah. the same time Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Was. Yeah. Is, yeah. Which is Wild West is, Buffalo hunting. So this, <laughs> this, this is the exact same time. This teenager like is able to get like a little gun yeah he like from like this innkeeper like loans him like his little gun yeah it's like a shitty little gun oh like one of those like pearl handled they call it like a pea shooter okay yeah yeah it's like a little a lady would have in a purse or something a little gun a snub nose it's just like a shitty little gun you said that yeah it's like a little charles would you say it's a little it's like a little gun okay (laughs) wait what kind of gun is it it's like zach it's like a little 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 gun (laughs) so he gets a little gun he's got so that is the gun that Vincent was shot with. Yes. Okay. They know that. The littlest. Yeah. And so Toulouse Lautrec would have found it a normal gun. And because he was very small. So like basically Vincent just like goes out to paint. He like is gone for hours, comes back at nighttime, he's bleeding out his stomach, <laughs> and he just says, I got shot. Or I shot myself. Yeah. And they're like, Oh, did you do this? Or you did you try and kill yourself? And he just says that's I a pretty th- leading question. He says, I th- <laughs> yeah. uh, I think so. <laughs> that sounds right. Right. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, I think so. That sounds like me. <laughs> and so, like, 
If you are Vincent, though, and you wake up and half of your ear is gone and then you're shot, you're like, yeah, I could believe that, that I shot myself. So his story was that he he tried to, he shot himself, passed out, then woke up, then walked back like a mile from where he was. (laughs) Wow, okay. Yeah, and it's like every aspect of the story is weird. I thought he walked to the nearest inn. He walked to his favorite inn. No, he walked to the inn inn he's staying at. That's where he's staying. okay, okay. And so like... He's like, I gotta go to my favorite bar. They'll know what to do. Yeah, so there's like all these... That's why it's my favorite bar. There's all these questions about how he couldn't have been where he said he was and Uh have walked that far. He's a lot of inconsistencies. Nobody saw him where he said he was. And like, it wasn't a big town, so people would have seen him. Okay. And like, they never found his art equipment where he was. So they think he actually was in this other part of town where these teenagers used to hang out a lot. And he used to have to pass them, horses. and they would bully him all the time. Right. This one specific teenager, his name was like Rene something, and he would always bully Vincent. And they have interviews of this dude when he's like 80 years old in like 1950, and he's like, oh, yeah, we used to bully the fuck out of Vincent. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, we bullied him a lot. He's like, yeah, and I had a little gun, but that's all <laughs> I'll say. You know, like he stopped you short. You can pussy pieces together. Yeah, because they think like this dude had gone his whole life with like. Uh, what do you think the statute of limitations is if he had to actually commit like you lock up an 80 year old for killing Vincent Van Gogh? No, it's like for sure over. But so like yeah. the one of the new theories is that Vincent like was killed by accident and like some kind of teenage bullying prank gone wrong. Uh-huh. And then he just like admitted to it. Because he wanted to die anyway. He was suicidal half the time. Right. And you said that if he were to go out in any way, right. time and time again, he'd reference drowning. So many letters. Himself. Vincent is talks about how beautiful of a death it is for an artist to drown. He keeps comparing art to like drowning. Covering himself in like, the heaviest of paints yeah, and he's jumping like, in the river. He's like, if things get worse, I'm going to jump in the river. So many times. Like dozens of times. He's yeah. like, I, if I ever die, I'm going to... He's almost explicitly saying, like, it, if I ever kill myself, it's definitely going to be jumping in the river. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way anyway, to die Sorry for me. about yeah. what I said up there about wanting to kill myself. It's all good now. <laughs> yeah. He's known to, like, be afraid of guns, doesn't know how they work, doesn't know how to use he, he, them. He really could have mobilized, like, an anti-bullying campaign, but instead he just to protect this little shit eater. Yeah, kid. so they think it was, like, this act of martyrdom because he's, like, he's always, like, sacrificing yeah, himself. Yeah. Everything is in line with it where he's, like, right. I'm such a piece of shit. I'm going to do one good thing at the end here, which is save this this kid, kid. (laughs) even though he's been bullying me. He had like a little bit of like a Jesus complex, you know, it's like a turn the other cheek type of thing. Yeah. And so he's like, even though this kid shot me, I will protect him. And so like, like the bullet gets stuck inside him. People are like, that's not consistent with like a self-inflicted wound. It just seems like the gun was further away. It's a really weird angle that doesn't make sense. Plus it's like, it's like 1% of gunshot suicides are like in the chest. Well, I thought that <laughs> when I initially thought he killed himself by shooting himself in the chest, one, I thought that was his artistic twist on shooting yourself. And two, the fact that he didn't die immediately, I thought that was more telling of how he still hadn't grasped the human anatomy. Like he couldn't, like he, he, he couldn't drive I was like, my properly. brain's in my chest. He, yeah, he was like, my heart's definitely here. <laughs> like yeah, that's middle. funny. Yeah. You know? He never fully mastered the uh, <laughs> the draftsmanship yeah. and couldn't successfully That's kill himself. That's why the himself. angle was so weird. Yeah. Because he just had issues with perspective <laughs> in general. <laughs> the depth of field yeah. was all wrong. Oh, I thought I was... That's. I thought yeah. the angle was perfect. It would have been more convincing if he had said he thought he was aiming for his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They never find his equipment. The gun, like, disappears. Yeah. The innkeeper has a weird motivation to, like, roll with this story because he's, like, responsible because it's, like, his gun. Oh, right. He loaned the gun yeah, to the kid. Yeah, and it's like the only... Which, by the way, not a smart thing to no, do. No, it's all weird. It's and like how would the kid get the gun? The kid's like, hey, could I uh, borrow it? I need to, you know, it's like maybe show my he, friends. Yeah, it's like maybe he loaned it. Maybe he stole it. It's a very uh-huh. weird thing. But it's like, that's the gun. But they the know that's wants the gun. Vincent's suicide story to be true yeah. so that he can't be culpable. Yeah. yeah, and it's like all weird. And then, uh, and then he's just kind of like, yeah, I think I sh- killed myself. I think I tried to kill myself. And then, like, and it's then two days later, he dies. It's all weird. It's not. It's not like dramatic and definitive the way Vincent is. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't seem if like if he were to kill himself. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does seem like he would go out and more. This is a man who blood. cut off his ear. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem like he's gonna like. He's not a half himself in the stomach and then bleed out for a few days. <laughs> right. You know, that's not his style. No, 
So it's that's like, not a post impressionist way to kill yourself. But then Theo comes up. He hears about it. And nobody's saying suicide at this point, really. They asked if he shot himself. It was intentional. And he's just like, I think so. But nobody's like, Vincent killed himself. They keep just being like, Theo, you got to come in here. Vincent was shot. Vincent was shot. They just keep being like, Vincent was shot. That's what everyone's saying. It's not until Vincent actually dies. Emil Bernard shows up to the funeral after being like a fucking shithead and not being around for a while. And he's like, it's so crazy that Vincent killed himself. You know? <laughs> Leaning into the mourners. Yeah. And he's nuts. like, he killed himself, and he, right? they're like all these dramatic artists. And he goes back to France. He's like, Vincent killed himself. And so and you got to think all these other artists are just trying to like use this to further their position. Yeah. Like I got the real scoop on Vincent. Mm-hmm. He killed himself. No, they're all like pretending like they're close to him. It's really right. sad. Yeah. It's like he, Dear Evan Hansen. They're all opportunists. Yeah. Emil Bernard shows up. He hasn't been supportive or around for several years. He used to bully him when Vincent was at art school. And he's, like, rearranging paintings and doing all this weird shit at, like, the funeral. Theo's, like, putting together, like, a slapdash funeral. First off, Theo comes up. They have, like, a big, like, it's a long, drawn-out, like, death. Like, Vincent truly has a deathbed thing happen where he's, like, there (gasps) with Theo. Come closer. Vincent's literal last words as he dies in Theo's arms are, this is how I wish to die. (laughs) Really? Yeah. It's so emo, dude. Good. That is really emo. Yeah. And Theo, Theo must be like, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> what no, do you Theo's say to that? so oh, sad. Awesome. And then what, like a uh, My Chemical Romance song plays or something? Yeah. Jeez. Oh, More like yeah. a um, Transatlanticism. Who's that? Who did that Death album? Cab for Cutie? Death Cab uh, for Cutie. Yeah. 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 Theo's destroyed. Theo's devastated. And it, it it is, it's like the moment Vincent dies, all of like the resentment disappears in Theo. And he can now see Vincent's art for what it is. And he sees how brilliant it is. Well, Vincent finally, when he died, turned off the the (laughs) spigot of Theo's money. Yeah. Being flushed away to paint and whores. And and Theo just becomes obsessed, like possessed by this idea. He's like, I must make that he's a genius who needs to become famous. famous. Vincent needs to be world famous. And then Theo only lives for another six months. Yeah, Yeah. because within a couple months, Theo just loses it. Yeah. Well, uh, syphilis that he got from having some good times with his fuck buddy Vincent eventually starts to consume his brain. Yeah. And if you look at pictures of uh, s- syphilitic brain, it's like holes, gaping holes in your brain. And they used to call it, which I kind of like, they, they're kind of like cushioning it for the wives. They're like, he had dementia paralytica. Mm. And they're like, what's that? And another word is uh, GPI, which is general paralysis of the insane. Wow. But really, it was it, it's like syphilitic paresis or something. But yeah, it's crazy. I mean, your, your brain, you have delusions of great wealth, immortality, thousands of lovers, unfathomable power. That would be the way to die. Yeah. Theo good. would have probably been like, this is how I wish to die. A king. Yeah. <laughs> the last king on earth. Oh, so maybe he had a good time. He probably had a nice trip at the end. Yeah, yeah when half Vincent, your brain's yeah. been eaten. But yeah, so Theo, you said Theo went crazier than Vincent. Yeah, afterward. he's like Theo, probably because of the physiological effects of syphilis consuming his brain. Theo always had like health issues. Yes, that would also really worry Vincent. Right, and like uh, so Theo was like just not in as good of a position, and like it just when the illness hits him, like he's way worse than Vincent ever was. He's like violent. Like he actually has to be restrained in a way that Vincent wasn't. Yeah, Vincent would just like check himself into a cell and be like, I got to cool off here Yeah, and Theo- before I cut off any of my other appendages. They would like take Vincent's stuff away, like his paints and stuff, because they were afraid he was going to like drink them. Yeah. Because he did drink some of them. He drank some paints? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that yeah. was something he did a few yeah. times. And, uh, <laughs> trying to drown on land. <laughs> but like, but Theo was like, they had to like tie I'm him. i fill up my lungs with red. I'll fucking do it. Theo, they had to like tie him to the bed, you know? Yeah. And so. And then Joe, <laughs> Joe comes to visit him, and that's when she finally finds out he has syphilis. Yeah, because she's like, be "What's tough. wrong with him?" And they're like, "Well, he's you know really sick. Uh, he's dementia really paralytica." Like, they're like, "The syphilis is definitely not helping." And she's like, "What syphilis?" And <laughs> Does she have syphilis at this point? That's the thing. And they're like, "Oh, he's got no, big she lives time a long syphilis. life." Syphilis, and she's like, "He doesn't have syphilis." They must have never like, fucked. They're like, "We." promise you he's got syphilis. <laughs> syphilis for sure yeah well, you're at the syphilitic care center i don't know if you saw the <laughs> sign in the front they had a baby though yeah so yeah they had a baby theo dies six months after vincent in yep. an asylum which is sucks for johanna who is yeah. uh you know the the real 
kind of hero of the whole story, as it turns out, because Theo inherits all of Vincent shit. Yeah. Theo dies. Yo- Johanna inherits all of Vincent shit. And the point, <laughs> Charles and I watched this lecturer who at the end of the lecture was talking about Johanna and really getting choked up. And he starts like crying. He's yeah. like lecturing students. And yeah. he's like, I'm sorry, I just find the material very moving, which is nice that he's finds it touching. But it's also like, how many times have you given this lecture? Dude, I get it, though. I, I get I was it, I get it ch- too. I was getting choked up talking no. about it earlier. <laughs> I, I thought you were any, just parched. No, any type of sibling stuff, dude, makes <laughs> yeah. me so emotional. I just got, you know, if he's given the lecture like 10 times. Yeah. And the students are like, he cries every time. You got to see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, Have yeah. you ever seen like a one man or one woman, like a one person show and then they cry? No, I haven't seen a cry one. I haven't oh, seen a cry one. so funny. Because <laughs> you have to do it every yeah, time. Yeah, every time that's they're crying, the I'm like, that's the thing about damn, the lecture. that's good. <laughs> yeah. And, and the, they must be backstage, like, yeah. really squeezed a yeah. few more out oh, that time. Oh, that was a good one. Today. Volumetrically, that was <laughs> yeah. my best performance. <laughs> yeah. In terms of sheer drops, I, but I really laid a nice slick out there. Joe, it's so beautiful, too, because she gets remarried. And she like saves all these letters. Yeah. And she raises this infant son. and like, Infant. Huh? Vincent. V- Vincent. Yeah, Van Vincent. <laughs> Vin- 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 Vincent Van Vincent. <laughs> Do you have names of these episodes? Uh, not really, but oh we could. Man, that's what you should call it. We Vincent could. We'll get Van tattoos. Van. <laughs> we could. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get tattoos. Vin- that's better. Yeah. Those Vincent, will last forever. Oh, Vincent Van, Van-, Van-, Van Gogh. <laughs> yeah. um, but so the, the reason that we know about Vincent... Uh, well, first of all, Theo was a hoarder, and Vincent was very prolific, so Th- Theo had all of his shit. Yeah. That then Johanna uh, inherited, and it's like hundreds and hundreds of paintings and drawings and all this stuff. And the point that the lecture guy was making, he's like, you know, she could have just packed, packed up, went home, cleared out all of his shit, left it in the apartment, whatever, the breadcrumbs, the paintings, the ear, left it all and just gone home and raised her child. But that's not what she did. And she spent the next 24 years, uh, which is an insane amount of time, 24 years, like, collecting all the letters, organizing them because they weren't dated, translating them into different languages. And then finally in 1914, so 24 years later after they died, publishing them and making it her life's work to get Vincent famous because she knew how important yeah, it was to Theo. She took Theo. on her, husband's, took on her husband's dream, yeah. Yeah. which was to make Vincent well no, it's known. incredible. It's incredible. And the yeah. son then took over. And the yeah. son and then Vin, uh, Vin- Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Little baby Vincent Willem uh, took over her, you know. And from shit. his perspective, it's probably these letters are probably everything because he he doesn't know these people. Yeah. It's like this is his only connection to his father. That's so true. Yeah. And his uncle that was like, you know, entwined with his father. It was sad that the lecture was re- the, uh, reading something about Joanna, like pouring over the letters, not for Vincent, but looking for Theo, like trying to find her husband in the letters that Vincent had Oh, written. and it's mostly Vincent. It's Yeah, it's, it's mostly like the letters of Vincent because Vincent. Vincent didn't keep any of Theo's, but Theo kept all of Vincent's letters. Yeah, yeah you think Vincent read Theo's? was like, ugh. Yeah. Threw it out the window. Yeah. Where's no money? It's like you open yeah. a card from your grandma. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this, why'd you, buy, why'd you mail me trash? If nothing falls out, you throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't care if it sings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here, grandma. I want to check or nothing. I do think it was so funny, though, that, that the guy was like, yeah, he, she could have just packed up, left it all cleared it out she could it, which would have been wild well i mean this is also i mean that'd be kind of a stupid decision i didn't realize that he got fame at the end but now he's a genius you're right so why would she you're choose right. to do I that i didn't know that either that's a stupid today. choice but that he wasn't like choice. globally famous she definitely helped like she her translation it. was the primary translation for like a century that's pretty sweet like she was a translator like that, that, was, that was her job that's all based on her translation oh, interesting wow this like famous she uh, kind of uh, dramatized biography. What the mom of the Kardashians make? The mom of the Kardashians made the Kardashians. Yeah, Caitlin? she's like the reason they're famous. <laughs> Chris, Chris <laughs> Jenner. <laughs> it's cool too because Joe is so supportive. Like at the very end, after like he, this pocket of time when he starts to get recognition and he's still alive, there is like a very beautiful moment, like where he comes to visit them, and it's like they've hung his paintings all over their. Apartment. Oh yeah, well he made that um, the almond one, the blue background with the almond tree. That yeah. was for oh yeah for the baby. That was for Vincent. Yeah, and they hang one of his big <laughs> ones over there, like fu- fucking 
mantle their or whatever. Bang, their bang bed. Yeah. Where they bang. Their where mar- they their evidently did not. Their marital bed. Ba- their marital, <laughs> bang, their marital bang bed. Yeah. He's That's like, the name of the app. Bang bed. <laughs> welcome to the bang bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bed. It's all over it's the a bed. bed on wheels. It's just, uh, that people <laughs> drive around for him. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, hey. Yeah. They're you like, want to no, get in? No, thanks. I know what this is. How many other bang vehicles do you think they tried before they settled on a bus? They probably started with truck. to the Bang uh, TV. The bang boat. They're like <laughs> trying to find women yeah. at sea. <laughs> the They're like, yeah, we d- couldn't really find anyone again. <laughs> Should I try a uh, more popular o- uh, ocean? Welcome to the Bangacopter. <laughs> yeah. You just hear. <laughs> oh my god. You want to hop in? You're pretty hot. Banger blades. The banger cycle. <laughs> <laughs> banger blades. <laughs> welcome to bang the bang rail. Welcome to the public light rail. Yeah, the bang board. It's like a long board. <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> Everybody can see us. Yeah. Let me just say, if the lo- if the bang board <laughs> matches what I think it does, yeah. I'm gonna be pretty happy. The bang. ATV. <laughs> That's what I said when I said bang TV. Uh, but I, I, don't, I think it was lost because I think you guys thought I was talking about a TV. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, well, this yeah. guy doesn't know modes of transportation. Yeah. This guy surfs around on TV like a magic carpet. Yeah, the bang <laughs> magic carpet. <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 it, no, it's the, the, yeah. f- the fact that well, you got another one. I was gonna move on, but if you got another dude, one, dude, actually a bang magic carpet would work. The bang I feel like that would that would pull people. They'd be like, "What the fuck? This carpet's magic." All I gotta do. What I'll else is you. magic? <laughs> <laughs> Your beans? Yeah. <laughs> we forgot the jet skis. Yeah, so. bang skis. Oh, Did the you bang say jet skis? I said bang bang skis is good. Yeah. That's bang. a that's, yeah. that's a famous artist. There's so many <laughs> bang <skis>. vehicles. <laughs> There's a lot of vehicles. If you really yeah. think about it, yeah. there are a lot. Yeah, <laughs> the bang trolley. All right. Yeah, the bang trolley. You said <laughs> the bang ski lift. Yeah, right. the bang. Let's get out of here. The bang scooter. Yeah, the bang. Ooh, the bangdala. It's a ah, gondola. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> That'd be really hard to get. These are a lot very hard to get people yeah, up into. The bang of you have to, you're bang. like, hey, you want to come in and fuck? And you throw a rope ladder down. <laughs> yeah, and they have to climb up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> They're so exhausted yeah. by the time they get up there, they can't even <laughs> fuck. They're like, "Do you have any juice or like snacks?" Or just it is the uh, bang ladder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, no, I d- I do think the bang the, uh, escalator. Stop. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. We gotta end the episode. The bang I do, elevator. <laughs> I do think the fact that Vincent, w- the fact that he got so famous, like almost Moving in the end, walkway <laughs> was was good. Uh. For Joanna's appreciation, yeah. but even not knowing that, even thinking yeah. that Vincent never sold the painting, yeah. that he never whatever, I still think it would be ridiculous if she were to look at it and be like, "Um, no, yeah, <laughs> dump it." Oh, she'd be the worst. She'd be the worst. Yeah, yeah. it'd be wild if Theo married like the, because you we've all had the hot ex that it's crazy that you'd need to break up with, but like Theo, you know, it sounds no. like Theo was a horn dog. He could have married the wrong person and just died before he realized he made a mistake. And then Johanna's looking through the pictures and she's like, ugly woman three. What the fuck is this? (laughs) It's just, she like, doesn't get it. Time to burn a man's life's work. Yeah. I mean, like it could have all ended up in some, you know, like storage wars. Yeah. You know, they got some like rednecks peeking into a shipping container in a cube storage looking past Van Gogh's art, they're like, I think I see a pinball machine back yeah, there. What the fuck is that? Ex- that excessively starry night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that painting with too many stars. Yeah. You think anybody would bang in this? Yeah. Is, is that an old BP oil sign? Yeah. You know they're always like into the weird <laughs> yeah. oil paraphernalia? Yeah. Yeah, Coca-Cola signs. Yeah, I right. love those. Yeah. It is crazy that it could not have... Uh, yeah, it could have just been all lost. No, it's kind of beautiful because Theo was right when he first got asked her to marry him. He actually did find an incredible person. Yeah. Yeah. And then Vincent was right in believing that his stuff would all be valuable. Yeah. And Theo was right subconsciously to continue believing in Vincent. Everybody was right. Everyone ended up somehow right. Yeah. Everyone following their heart was right. It would be so all easy, the industry, though. just like real life, yeah. were fucking sh- fucking shit. And take that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, put book it, print it. I had one little fuck. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, if you, the complete works of Van Gogh are available online, and a lot of them are like weird and bad. So even if you if you flip through like, like twenty, fifteen hundred, there's so many. Yeah, and a lot of it's like dirty boy, no shoes. He's learning. Sixteen. Yeah, I know he's learning. Yeah. But like you're looking through them, and you're like, oh, this is not good. You know? Do you think uh, a comedian might become so famous? 
that there's a museum and they show random clips of their open mics and stuff. <laughs> and people are like, oh, you horrifying. can see. You can see when he's talking about uh, the, the jars of cum, the, the later <laughs> and work. And the family of four just yeah. trying to eat dinner. Yeah. Tries to get the check as quickly as possible. Yeah. That actually became a huge bit. Yeah, oh, I can see it. The cum jar bit. Oh. That's Matt cum jars? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I think they, I mean, that's what NFTs, I think. Because when do you think NFTs are going to come back? I think, yeah, it is all going to come back. Crypto is about to pop off again. Yeah, so then I think NFT and people will be doing it with their early sets. Yeah. I think anybody that's famous now, when NFTs come back, they'll just do that. Yeah, that's smart. Oh, it is also cool that a family of art peddlers, which is another way to pronounce failed artists, Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, yeah. I feel like of all of them kind of wanted to be an artist. For sure. But were like, ah, I'm not, I don't have this stuff. Yeah. And Vincent was just delusional enough to think that he did and ended yeah. up being if you right. you can't do, deal. If you can't do, deal. Yeah, deal. <laughs> Howie Mandel wanted to be an, a famous artist, but he just ended up on a game show. But it's kind of cool that they. Yeah, we're almost done. That uh, <laughs> it's only seven o'clock. Yeah, it's only it's, it's six p.m. I in, was like, in I California. Think you picked me up four hours ago. <laughs> I did. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I was trying to get out of here. You guys are sleeping over, right? The Bang TV. Yeah. Um, the Bang <laughs> submersible at the ah. Titanic. Oh, it's it's I, the I Bang merciful. <laughs> it kind of made. It's kind of yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of weird that all these. To me, it's like it's weird that every single member of the family rallied around Vincent. Yeah, because they all could have been like, no, I want to do my own thing. But if you're a family of art dealers and one of you finally becomes a good artist, yeah, why not? Yeah. Pedal that guy's art. Yeah. But it makes sense that the one guy who was able to actually be the creative. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we finally can sell one of our own. Yeah. Of course. Nice. And he's a Vincent. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a ha ha. <laughs> so yeah, terrible last name. Uh, yeah. yeah. Also, here's an unfun fact. Theo's great grandson, also named Theo, was murdered in 2004 by an Islamist, Islamic extremist because he did a, He made a film called Submission Part One. Uh, it was about a woman who had been raped by a family member with Quran passages written on her back, and then some dude killed him. This was his. So not every grandson. artist that came out of the Van Gogh family was successful. Maybe he Maybe said he, he was murdered. Yeah, yeah, but he actually killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> who would you rather be? The you film? Dri you driving or, or you writing sentences? Me driving or me writing the outline? <laughs> which which version of me would you know. rather be? So who would you rather? Because we ask at the end, and usually it's pretty obvious, yeah. but sometimes it's a little more complicated. Because yeah. these guys basically had the same lifespan. Yeah. Theo was four years younger. Yeah. But he seemed to live a much less tortured life. Yeah. And Vincent became the famous artist, but he wasn't really around. So for who that. would I rather be? Who would you rather be, Theo or Vincent? Vincent, hundo percent. You could you're sleeping on the floor. You're a madman. What about you, Charles? <laughs> yeah. That, uh, yeah. <sighs> I'd rather be Theo. I think I'm going Theo. I'm going Theo. Vincent was like Theo's working his whole time. Vincent doesn't have to do shit. Yeah, but Vincent's Vincent's like hating tortured. his life. Do you know how much fun it is to be tortured? <laughs> do you understand? It's looking like a you true guys Jewish don't man. Don't deprive yourselves enough of things. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand how fun it is sleep to be tortured? On the, sleep on the floor. Sleep on the floor and come back to me and tell you you want to sleep. Theo. Sleep a day <laughs> I on to my get floor. The couch out of this yeah. apartment before you came over. We were gonna do this on the floor. <laughs> The bang floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that might have to be. Uh, that might have to be. Welcome the app, to the everybody. bang floor. I uh, I hope you enjoyed. You learned uh, something about Vincent that you won't learn if you look it up online because there's a lot of fake news out there. Um, Marty, thank you for uh, thank Thanks you for, for doing the pod. Me. Is there anything you want to plug before we go? No. Follow you on Instagram. Cause I'm a loser. So Sooner why don't you shoot me, <laughs> Charles? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Charles underscore Ingle, E-N-G-L-E. -E. Same thing on every other handle. And come to Freestyle Comedy Show three shows a week in New York if you live in New York. That's at Russell Comedy, <laughs> everywhere you get comedy. Look up Madi Litwack. He has a Just for Laugh set. Very funny. Um, not under Modest Yahoo, under Madi Litwack. Thank you guys for listening. Leave a review on iTunes, goddammit. And uh, <laughs> thank you again. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.